Good evening and welcome to the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck with tonight's match in center point where the 10th ranked Storm and Pointers are hosting the um, 8th ranked 4A Marion Wolves in Womack East action. CPU comes in 16 and 8 on the season. Marion comes in 16 and 7. This is their first meeting this season, although they did play in some common tournaments. Marion leads the all-time series 15 to 4. Results from the weekend and tonight. Last Friday, the Storm and Pointer football team traveled to Dubuque to face Waller and came out on the short end 36 to 14. On Saturday, the varsity volleyball team was at Monticello when they finished 4 and 0 on the day and they were crowned champions. Yesterday, the eSports team faced Urbandale, and they lost that match. And tonight in cross country up at Jessup, the CP girls were crowned champions. Grace Essling finished in ninth place, Avante Dunn in 27th, Emily Bow in 36th. On the boys' side, they finished in third as a team. Blaze Havel finished in sixth place, Brody Barron's 11th, Kale Essling 25th, Carter Easton 27th, and Casey Kurtz 28th. All right, Mike, ready to give a big shout out to our awesome sponsors? Oh yeah, you know, you and I both love doing these Stormcasts together and it's only possible with our very generous sponsors. Centerpoint Foods reminds you to shop local and win big. Centerpoint Foods is proud to sponsor CPU students in the area communities. Ability Physical Therapy and Centerpoint specializes in the evaluation and treatment of sports and orthopedic injuries. Call and schedule a free injury consult for sprains, strains, and pains today. Elite Fitness is a 24-hour facility which provides its members with the opportunity to achieve their fitness goals at their convenience. Speed School, personal training, and RMR testing are available for those who wish to take the next step in their fitness journey. Contact Elite Fitness and join today. Centerpoint Family Dentistry is a small-town dental practice with small-town touches of caring and personal attention. Best of luck to CPU from Drs. Hickey and Hill at Centerpoint Family Dentistry. The 2023-2024 school year kicked off some great additions to the athletic programs through the Athletic Burst Booster Club, purchasing a doctor dish for basketball, tents for soccer and track, and also new pitching machines for softball. They raised $30,000 with the help of the community. The Athletic Booster sponsors the fall kickoff, homecoming cookout, can drive, and also the athletic calendars provided uh, to provide these items for our athletes. As always, we're looking for new members and ideas to help the future projects. Meetings are held the second Wednesday of each month at 6 p.m. in the high school commons area. Athletic memberships are available on Infinite Campus Link, which can be found on the CPU website. As always, your donation to the boosters is greatly appreciated, not only by the athletic, boost, the athletic boosters, but even more the athletes and the coaches. Thank you to all those who have supported the athletic boosters, and good luck to the Storm and Pointers. All right, upcoming events at CPU. On Friday night, the football team will host West Delaware. The 9-10 game will start at 5 o'clock. The varsity starts at 7.30, and both games will be on the Stormcast if you can't make it up there. Saturday, September 30th, the marching band starts their season, and they will be at the Five Seasons Marching Band Invitational and also the Prairie Invitational. So they, if you uh, hopefully can follow to one of those events, the Five Seasons Marching Band Contest is at Kingston. Also on that day, cross country is at Warburg starting at 10 o'clock. And the ninth grade volleyball team is at Lisbon for their tournament starting at 8.30. And on Monday, October 2nd, the eSports team will be facing Vinton Shellsburg starting at 4 o'clock. A little bit about the teams heading into tonight's game. Marion is led in hitting by senior Michaela Goad is averaging 3.8 kills per set. Senior Alexis Pierce is getting 8 assists per set. The Mustangs are hitting 2.30 and are serving at 90.8% efficiency. Mount Vernon is coached by head coach Roxanne Paulson. Marion, Marion, not Mount Vernon. Marion, thank you, Marion. Is coached by Roxanne Paulson. She's assisted by Rachel Hawk, Kevin Hahn, and Tim Johnson. Leading hitters for CPU, junior Sydney Maui is averaging three kills per set and is hitting at 240. Senior or junior setter Logan Keller leads the team with 4.9 assists per set. Junior Gracie Hoskins leads the way on defense with 273 digs. And senior Paige Fultz has 55 blocks on the season. 
as a team. The Storm and Pointers are hitting 162 and are serving at 91.4% efficiency. The Storm and Pointers are coached by head coach Michelle Halleck, assisted by Leslie Caden and Sarah Humpel. Also tonight was senior night, and we will list the seniors on the CPU team as they were introduced before uh, the game started tonight. Uh, Carmen Ranbarger, Allie Schantz, Paige Foltz, Karsten Zimmerly, Ellie Winter, and Elizabeth Dorothy. So a big thank you to those seniors for participating for four years. And hopefully we have many more matches. That, well, we will have many more matches. What am I saying? Yep. We'll have a lot of matches yet. We're early in the season. We're not even done with September yet. That's the crazy thing about volleyball. You only play so many home dates because everyone plays tournaments. Your senior night is always so, I mean, it's, it's middle of the season to late, but it feels early in the season still. Yeah, and it depends on your schedule. And Absolutely. Storm and Pointers play at West Delaware next Tuesday. And then the following week we have conference tournament. And then the following week, we start regional. So exactly. Kind of done. And hopefully we'll be hosting some regional matches, but we'll see how that uh, plays out. So, Brent, sounds like Marion is playing some very good volleyball from, from a little bit of research I did and from talking to, you know, the community and some other uh, players and such. Um, you said similar tournaments. I know they were both in the Linmar tournament yes. earlier, and I think Marion was uh, – maybe two points away from being in the finals. Um, yeah, they were in the semis on the yep. other side of the bracket exactly. of us. Yeah, we yeah. almost both saw each other losing in the semis both, but uh, yeah, they're doing some really th good yes, things. they won their tournament on Saturday also. Yep. Um, yeah, and you, you talked about Michaela Goad. Uh, she's very talented, hits out of a, a multiple different positions. She plays all the way around. Um, so she's going to be a big weapon for the Wolves tonight. And she hits the ball hard. We just saw her there in warm-ups. She, she attacks hard. the thing. And so a key will be blocking. Yes. Can uh, and our, our blocks and get our, up there? Yep, and our defensive coverage as well. And you talked about Paige Foltz with 55 blocks. I mean, in the tournament over the weekend, she added nine blocks for a season total. And that's, that's pretty impressive. And, you know, Coach Alex talked about feeling really good about where they're at right now, going out winning the first tournament they've won of the year. And you, you've brought it up a lot of times, just how challenging their schedule is. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, only losses are against teams that are either ranked or have been ranked on the year. So I know they're excited for tonight, another matchup of a highly ranked 4A team. Uh, one offensive stat that really st uh, stuck out to me tonight is the fact that, because I, I keep the stats from last week, so I had to change it. Yes. So I go through hitting efficiency. Well, last week it was at 144, I do believe and now it's up to 162. So, you know, considering the Mount Vernon game and then the weekend, they improved, yeah, you know, that's by drastic improvement. 18 percentage or 18 points there. And like, um, how many matches have we, or how many sets of uh, matches have we played this season? How many total? 24. So that's a big percentage jump when you've, yes. if you've played yeah. 10 games, yeah. it's not as much. When you play 24 times, that's a big jump. So yeah, a lot of success this weekend. All right, we'll get ready for starters here. CPU will be in their all-black uniforms with gold trim and a white number. And the Wolves will be in gray tops with black shorts, and they will have red numbers outlined in yellow. And we'll get the starting lineups here in just a second. Great crowd here tonight. They're just kind of filling in as we have been talking here. Yep, blackout from the student section. I know those of you watching, you probably cannot see the student section, but it's about, I don't know, four-fifths of the way filled. Everyone blacked out. And we should have cross-country team back by now, and the um, junior high football game is over. Yep. And so uh, lots of opportunities for uh, kids to be showing up here. And also... Do we have new uniforms? Um, this is a new, girls, uh, last year they got three new sets of uniforms. Um, they got a black set, a white set, and a gold set. Okay. So they've had these, but they haven't worn them very often. Um, we already talked about Goat a little bit, but Carly Weber, another middle hitter slash outside for the Wolves, uh, really putting up good numbers this year. Just something interesting. Uh, I, I've seen a little bit from the Wolves as the way they structure their offense and attack. And you and I were talking about it a little bit before we went 
went live. Um, you know, with Goad being such a good hitter, but you're going to see her sometimes hitting out of the middle, sometimes hitting out of the outside. They just move her around based on need, which is kind of non-traditional in the volleyball sense. Yeah, and those of you that saw her play softball, she's very athletic. Yes. And, you know, she can easily do that without problem. Athletic any. and aggressive, yes. And for the Wolves, they'll be starting 5'11", middle hitter, junior Carly Weber. Five-foot defensive specialist Maddie Gustafson. 5'9", senior Sophia Paulson. 5'7", senior Natalie Hartman will be the libero. 5'10", junior Jocelyn Mahaffey. 5'9", senior setter Alexis Pierce. And 6'1", hitter, senior Michaela Gold. And for the Storm and Pointers, we will have Carmen Ronberg, Ranberger, Ali Schantz, Paige Foltz, Karsten Zimmerle, Ellie Winter, and Elizabeth Dorothy. And those are the six seniors. All right, another Walmack East match. Um, it's going to be a tough one again tonight. All are exciting to watch, especially with um, you know five teams being ranked in the East side here. So when you're on the East side of the Walmack, you have you know Marion and Mount Vernon, Sol and CPU, um, and Indy West Delaware. Five of those are ranked currently. Well, yeah. Did you see Linder's article too in the Gazette last week? It talked about just Eastern Iowa, not only yeah, the Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Because then you can add West Liberty yes. and Davenport Assumption, and yeah, it was like 12 yeah. out of the 15 yes, teams ranked exactly. were from Eastern <laughs> Iowa. And honestly, within an hour of us here at yes, CPU. Yes. Yeah. And um, on the other side will be CCA, and then five teams that have done okay, but maybe aren't quite in the rankings yet. CCA still undefeated? Yeah, still undefeated. That's unbelievable yeah. volleyball. I mean, that's yeah. unheard of. And um, so we'll see the conference tournament's going to be very interesting. Also, I believe we are hosting part of the conference tournament. So get on up here if you can, and if you can't, we'll have it on the Stormcast. We will not be doing any audio that night because it's kind of a crazy setup. But um, we will... Uh, See well, how that goes. And, and those of you that kind of heard Brent go through the starting lineup for the Storm and Pointers, uh, Coach Halleck, classy move, started her six seniors out there right now. So we may see a little different lineup look and uh, players playing out of position because out of those seniors, she has three defensive players in that group. So it's and while still having a libero because Gracie's still in her white uniform, it's going to look a little different. She's going to have a, a back row player playing front row yeah. here for a little bit, Brent. So it could, could be, uh, could yeah, be so exciting. Yeah, so Dorothy... Uh, is back to serve. Elizabeth Dorothy with the and serve. Good short. serve down good the line. Serve, over pass. Pass. And, and the gets the point. And, and here's the best part, Brent. Uh, you and I know this, but we don't have a setter on the court right now. Yeah. <laughs> so Elizabeth Dorothy with a great serve over pass. Paige Foles pounds it away. And good serve. Tough handle there. Pass Three up. ball coming over to the Storm and Pointers. Shantz with the pass. Carmen with the set there to Foltz. Foltz tips it over. Marion keeps it alive. Outside attack, roll shot. Elizabeth Dorothy with the dig. Rambarger with the set. Outside to Ellie Winter. Swings, dug out by the Wolves. Here comes our attack over. Miss hit. And miss hit. CPU takes a 2-0 lead. Dorothy will continue to serve. He's done a nice job really starting him off balance on the Marion side with her serving there. Absolutely. So 2-0 CPU lead right now. Good topspin served by Dorothy, dug up. 
and attacked out of the middle uh -oh. by Marion, and Carson Zimmerle got a hand on it, but just couldn't keep it alive. Yeah, great try there by uh, Zimmerle. Yeah. Got a hand on it, and that will bring up Sophia Paulson back to serve for the Wolves. She's serving 92% on the season. All right, CPU and serve receive right now. Dorothy and Sean's two girls serve receive. Off pass, but kept alive by Folds. Dorothy swings, stays alive, dug up by Marion. Slide attack, Sean's with the dig. Rambarger with the set to the outside to Winter. Winter with the roll shot, dug up by the Wolves. Attacking outside, and that's a hard hit ball. <laughs> now you talked about Goad being an athlete and a great swing. There it was. A couple subs coming in for the Storm and Pointers. CPU getting a setter in there. Rambarger did a great job, but she's natural DS. Yeah. So. so Sydney Maui will be in, Adlin Wade and Logan Keller. It looks like Logan Keller will be the CPU a little thrown off, not the Sean number rotation. Gets it up. Keller with the save. Wade tries to send over, just can't get it there. Here comes Addie Tupa checking back in. So 2-2 two -two is our score. Back to serve will be Paulson. Oh, CP a little bit out of rotation here. Coach Helg may want to use a timeout. Looks like they got reorganized. Wade with the serve receive. Keller outside to Tupa. Tupa swings line, dug up by the Wolves. Set out of the middle a quick. Ooh. Good job there, getting a hand Tupa on it, just did not it, get enough forward motion yep. there. Keep it on their side. Paulson on a 4-0 run here. Top spin serve, Shantz with the dig. Outside set to Maui. Oh. Keller just pushed a little too tight to the net. Maui couldn't reach it. Gracie Hoskins coming in now as our libero. All right, 5-2, Marion lead. Paulson serving again. Dug up by Wade. Keller gets there on the, on the set. Tupa line shot, dug up by the Wolves. Out of the middle again. They're really starting to feed the middle, Brent. Yeah, and we're not quite getting high enough. They are jumping over the block. Yes. That's going to make it tough. Paulson, 6-0 run. We need to break that here. Top spin off the tape. Good dig by Hoskins. Back set to Foltz. Dug up by Hoskins. Kept alive by Maui and over by Keller. Free ball coming to the Storm and Pointer. Short. Foltz with the dig. Keller back sets it. Oh. Maui just can't get this little low. And we're going to have a timeout by Coach Halleck. With the Wolves up 7-2. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast. Home of CPU Athletics. Student profile is Cash Peterson. He is a ninth grader at CBU. He's involved in football. He'd rather live in an amusement park than a zoo. And the option of keep his name or choosing a new one, he would like to keep his. And if animal, animals could talk, who would be the rudest? He feels the cat would be the rudest. And if you were a video game, what two cheat codes would you want? He would want to fly and manipulate time. That is Cash Peterson, a freshman at CPU. Very well thought out there by Cash. All right, so we saw kind of having senior night, the excitement. CPU rattled off the first two points. And after the side out by Mary and Coach Hal went, kind of subbed in some other players. And you can tell they're just not in their rhythm. It's They weren't yeah. starting in the spot they normally do. They're just not comfortable right yeah, now. Yeah, and Marion kind of weren't in their rhythm right away. And now yep. they're, they're back in. Yeah, and Paulson's been kind of... Really aggressive serve. There's the serve. Gracie Hoskins with the dig. Back set to Maui. Touch off their hands and a kill. Great timeout for Coach Halleck right there. The side out, the Storm and Pointers needed. Yeah, Paulson has had 27 aces on the season leading the team. So 7-3. Wolves are up. Foltz going back to serve. Serving 91% on the season. Jump floater by Foltz. Dug up by the Wolves. Set out of the middle. And that's Goad right there. She's a tat wherever she is, they're looking to set her the balls. That's going to be a key to the defense, not only backward, but blocking. They have to time up where she's at. She comes in very quick. They yeah. have a very fast offense with her in. And in to serve. 
is Cassie Hahn, serving 91% on the season. We do have a substitute. Ref is checking there at the scores. Bench 8-3. Wolves are leading. We'll see what the question is here. And I'm, I'm wondering if this is concerned with the Storm and Pointers here just because they made those substitutions wave, because the wave be off of a subs. Bit. Yeah. Do we have the proper server and everything else the right way? Looks like everything's going to be okay, it seems like. Yep. All right. All right, we're ready to go. Han serving. Lefty. Dug up by Maui. Keller with the back set out to Tupa. Tupa tips Donut. Dug up by the Wolves. Set outside. Good block for the Storm there and Pointers. There's Shantz and Maui. Maui. we got to get that blocking going. Yes. At least make him think about it here. No, that was a great block. That wasn't a soft touch. That was straight down. So hopefully create some energy. So 8-4. Wolves are leading. Grennan in. Serving 93% on the season. Also has 20 aces. She is our setter. So again, there was some confusion yeah. here. But we can't have this many players on. Sean thought she should come out. I think I think Fultz served at the wrong time. Yes, I And so now that. it's her turn to serve. And she just seems confused. She goes, I just yeah. served. I'm well, it seems like, I'll tell you, though, it didn't cost the Storm and Pointers a point, so yeah. it's all right. So, so Fultz serving again. Good topspin yeah. serve. Dug up by the Wolves. Overpass. Mm. And tipped over. Wade just wasn't ready for that. Tipped to zone four and off Wade's hands and out of bounds. Yeah, and Pierce being 5'9", she can kind of get up. Yes. And you're going to have to be ready for that all night long. Absolutely. All right, Pierce with the jump. Oh, stays on the ground. Gracie Hoskins with the dig to Keller. Keller out to Tupa. Tupa off hands. Dug up by the Wolves. Set outside. Good block by the Storm and Pointers. Wolves keep it alive. Keller with the dig to Hoskins, who sets it to Tupa with the bump set and a kill. Good job there by CPU. Yeah, 9-5, Wolves lead. And now, for all that confusion, only being down four right now, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. So Grennan now will be back to serve. <laughs> the sophomore serving 93% on the season. Good serve there, dug up by the Wolves. And her try to roll shot there. Yep. If we can get her not to just hammer it. Absolutely. <laughs> also, she's tough when she hammers it. 9-6, yes, Wolves lead. Jumps served by Grennan. Good jump floater. Dug up by the Wolves, set outside. There's oh. another tip in the net. Yeah, and they weren't communicating either there. No, they almost had two outside. Yeah. It, it seemed like they wanted to run a 31 and a shoot, um, but the 31 really floated to the outside, so it was almost. Well, I think they have to shoot. tell somebody. Yeah, I think one person didn't get that. Yeah. So 9 7 Wolves lead. Grennan's back to serve again. Jump floater oh. deep and out. So Goad will go back to serve. The senior serving 91% on the season. So again, Storm and Pointers got her to the back row. Let's see what they can do right here. We talked about this last week with Mount Vernon as well. Keller with the serve receive. Great back set right oh, there just by out. Grennan and Tupa swings out. She went for the nice cut shot there just a little too deep. Right at the 10 foot line, but about a foot out of bounds. 11-7, Goad serving again. Wade with the serve receive. Jump set by Grennan. Tip by Shantz. Yeah, and nice job there. Off to the left, saw an opening. And that's kind of been Shantz's MO this year. Any ball that's there, she's looking to come across her body to the left and tip. All right, Burkhart into the lineup for the Storm and Pointers. Tupa back to serve. Tupa serving 84% on the season. And she, she's just lately been struggling with her serve. I know she served five times this weekend. Two aces, three errors. All right, back to serve is the libero. That is Natalie Hartman, a senior for the Wolves. Float serve, Burkhart with the dig. Grennan back, jump set to Keller. Keller swings on the kill. Right off the block, straight down. 
So 12-9, Wolves lead, and Hoskins will be back to serve. Hoskins serving 89% on the season. Jump floater short, great serve by Gracie Hoskins. Passed over by Marion. Grenin with the dig to Hoskins. Swung on by Keller, sent back over to CPU. Hoskins with the dig to Grenin. Keller again with the swing. Oh, just mm, out. Just out deep. We've had two of those that have just been out. And one that was just in, so it's yes, a lot, lot of close shots here. Maddie Gustafson in for the Wolves. The five foot defensive specialist will be back to serve, serving 86% on the season. Keller with the serve received. Grenin with the set out to Burkhart. Burkhart cut shot and in. Another really close. Cl really close. Man. You know, I like those cut shots because yes. the other thing you do, if you see an opening, you can kind of just push it over there. Absolutely. Right along the uh, net. Yes. Keller to serve. Jump floater by Keller, dug up by the Wolves. Set to the outside, roll shot, dug by Burkhart. Keller sets Hoskins in the back row. Hoskins oh. finds the court. Libero <laughs> with the kill, love it. We're finding those, we're either finding the line or just over the line. So 13-11, Wolves are leading Keller back to serve. Junior serving 93% on the season. Jump floater, deep corner. Good serve received uh, by the Wolves, but tipped over. Hoskins got a hand on it, but we Yeah, she was it. there. We just could not get it back. And that was very close to an overpass, but, you know, a nice job done there by Pierce to keep it in play for the Wolves. So 14-11, Marion lead. Back to serve is Paulson. She had a big run to start... The game for Marion. Tupa with the good serve received to Keller. Keller to Maui. Maui with the kill. That's good volleyball right there, Brent. Pass that kill. And Wade coming in. Junior serving 96% on the season. So 14-12, Marion lead. We are in set number one. Good serve by Wade. Dug up by the Wolves outside. Good dig by Hoskins, oh, oh, and we weren't turn around, ready. Guys, turn around. Yes. Go to the big swing there, but Hoskins right there on the outside, dug yeah. it up, just but falls to the ground. No one was ready. You know, you talk about kind of getting warmed up. We really didn't have everybody on here when she was all through the first Correct. Um, rotation, so we'll see how we do the second time through. All right. Serving is Han for the Wolves. Great pass by Wade. Out to Keller, to Tupa, off the block, kept alive by the Wolves. Attack out of the middle and out of bounds by Goad. Again, you saw Brent there. She hit out of the middle of the play right before she was hitting on the outside. Well, the difficulty with that, she couldn't get back to her spot to get her approach Absolutely. done. All right, Fultz serving for CPU. Page with the jump serve, the oh. out of bounds deep. And it's funny, in a game that's 16-13 right now, Fultz already served three times. <laughs> well, I don't think the first one was supposed to count. No, it definitely hey. was not. All right. Pierce serving for the Wolves. He has 12 aces on the season. Good serve received by Wade to Keller. Out to Maui and yeah. out of bounds. Again, another nice cut shot. Just a just little a too little far. 17-13, Marion lead. This is kind of where in the set we need to really bear down and focus here. Cut this uh, four point deficit. Wade with the service lead, but over. Keller uh. brings it back, but called for the a lift. Yeah, and you're absolutely right, Brent. Marion is completely satisfied going point, 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 back and forth. CPU needs to stop the Marion run here and go on one themselves. Top spin serve, Maui with the serve receive. Keller the bump set to Tupa on the outside. Tupa rolls to the donut, dug up by the libero. Sends over deep. Wade with the perfect pass to Keller. Sean's out of the middle, dug up. Gracie Hoskins, great save. Free ball sent over by Tupa. Defense set for the Storm and Pointers, right attack. Tip, dug oh, up. Oh no, don't be doing that. Keller, one hand sends it over, keeps it alive. Marion digs it up. Back row oh. attack and out of bounds. Oh, she touched it. And it was touched right at the net. No, Hoskins got oh, Hoskins it, or Wade. I don't know who got it. Somebody touched in the back row. Gotcha. So 19-13, Marion lead. We have a timeout by CPU. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast. 
home of CPU Athletics. And that was CPU's second time out there, right? Yeah, so we're done with timeouts. Ava Sells is a 12th grader at CPU. Her favorite artist that she'd like to see live in concert is Lovejoy. Favorite board game is chess, and if she, uh, her favorite card game is Go Fish. If she could choose between a romantic comedy or an action movie, she would choose an action movie. I'm sure with her brothers at home, she she's, <laughs> sees them having a lot of action. I'm sure. When you graduate from high school, what is one thing you will miss about CPU? And that's seeing her friends often. And when she moves away from home, what's one thing you will miss about your family? Home cooked meals. That's Ava Sells, a senior at CPU. So Brent, we kind of talked about just the the unique start to this uh, to this set with senior night, all the celebration, then the subbing being thrown off a little bit. Um, you brought it up. CP really needs to get a nice serve receive here, get an attack, get a kill, and turn things around. Pierce. in serve. Wade with the dig. Back set, and Maui sends it over, but it's blocked, comes back. Oh. Keller with a deep tip. Kept alive by the Wolves. Tip, roll shot, and Keller follows it to the line and out of bounds. So, again, two timeouts, two points for the Storm and Pointers. All right, we're really, really going to have to focus on our serving, though. we got to yes. be aggressive, but... No free points. No free points. We've already gave him three. Granite with the jump floater. Serve received by the Wolves. Out of the middle attacked. Great dig by Adeline Wade. Hoskins gets there. Tupa tips it. Dug up by the Wolves. Send to the outside and off. Miss hit by uh, the outside. Was that? Yeah. All Matthew, right, so 19-15. Cut into that lead here a little bit. See if we can keep going. Yep, nice little 2-0 run since the timeout. Grennan is a sophomore. She has 20 aces on the season. 21 would be great. And kept oh. alive, sent over, very sloppy. And oh, CPU. under the net. She there's, slid under the net. There's your next Good ace hustle. right there, Brent. Mary never maintained control. They got three touches on it and sent it over, but definitely an ace. Grennan serving again. Dug up by the Wolves, out of system. Back row attack, Wade with the pass. Grennan sets Tupa on the outside with a bump set. Tupa finds a deep spot. CPU's on a run. Great job by CPU. Cuts it to 19-17, and we have a timeout by Marion. That's exactly what you want out of a timeout, Brian. Exactly. Now we got to be focused so they don't do yes. it out of a timeout. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> this is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on a, the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Student profile is senior Jonah DuPont. He's involved in football, baseball, and golf. And if you could give up any meal, it would be breakfast. His favorite, the app you hate but use anyway, is Snapchat. And if you had to work when you graduated from high school but didn't need the money, what would you choose to do? Be a college football coach. That's pretty common. We've seen that a lot. So, Where do you not mind waiting on car and in the car on long road trips? And scrolling through Instagram, do you prefer... Celebrity posts are ones from your friends, and he would prefer his friends. That's Jonah DuPont, a senior at CPU. All right, you want to increase the pressure right here, Brent. You get a good serve here and earn a point on this play, make it a one-point game, um, obviously at 18-19, but it's going to start with a great serve by Jace Grennan here. Jump floater, good serve. Tight pass by the Wolves. Attack the outside in the net. Norman Pointer's earned the point out of the timeout. And, you know, I, I always believe that just getting one or two blocks yes. just makes you think, Absolutely. you know, am I, am I in the right spot? Am I following through? All that kind of stuff. Grennan serving again. Deep floater. Oh, and, ooh, oh that just was just out. out. Good run by the Storm and Pointers there, though. Yeah, 2018 and gold out of the front row is back to serve. Keller overpass it. Grennan tips it over. Oh. And CPU gets the point. They're not going to notice uh, Grennan with a back row attack right there. They're looking right now. They're checking. There's a sub coming in. Uh-oh. Officials are talking about it now. And looks like I'm guessing we're going to see a flip of points here. So Jace Grennan went up with one hand, tried to Jump set it to keep it on her side. It actually went over. Yeah. And because their CP runs a 6-2, Grennan was in the back, back row. So, so if she's jumping and, and it, it goes, goes over, over the net. Yep. Yeah. 
And as she's above the plane of the net, now maybe they're going to say she wasn't above the plane of the net. And she was up there pretty high. Yeah, pretty high. Jace Grant's a really here. good athlete. <laughs> so we will see what they come up with here. But CPU down, currently 2019, but we're going to see what they... It doesn't look like there's going to be any change in the call here. Oh, they're going to go to the book and see where Grennan was. Yep. All right, so the point will go to Marion. That is the right call. Now, CPU yeah. sub, they should be able to get that back and be able to change their uh, their subbing pattern right there because they subbed based on the outcome yes. all going to yeah. CPU. Oh, research. Oh, they're going to replay. I don't know what Coach Alex said, but great job right there. So I, I think uh, Coach Alec right now is going to ask about that sub. Oh, oh we're, we're not settled on this no, yet. another meeting of the minds. Um, Coach Paulson has been around a while. She's yeah. not she's not going to give up on something she knows is right. So we will see. Yep. And you see kind of girls on the court are unsure, too, with where things are at. But I think the bench is letting Coach Alec know she subbed there. So, again, both captains are being told what's going on. And somehow CPU got the point. All right, so 2019 <laughs> and back to serve is Rambarger. Jump floater by Rambarger. Dug up by the Wolves. Right side attack, Hoskins with a great save. Rambarger uh -huh. keeps it alive. Hoskins tries to send it over. Uh -huh. Carmen Rambarger was there on the second ball. She just couldn't control it clean and went off the side of her arm. So 21-19, Marion leads. Back to serve will be the libero, uh, Natalie Hartman. She has 22 aces on the season. And if you're watching, she is in the black shirt for the Wolves. Serves Burkhart with the, the tried to get a touch on it, just didn't move her feet enough, ends up getting aced. So 22-19. So again, just a lot of oddness in this uh, first set. First set. Yeah. yeah. Seen a little bit of everything. Hoskins with the serve receive. Grennan jump set out to Burkhart. Burkhart flat-footed tips it over. Set to the outside, roll shot. Hoskins with the dig. Grennan back sets to Keller. Keller swings, tipped up, kept alive by the Wolves. Sent back outside, tip. Great dig by Grennan, but sent over to the Wolves. Wolves kind of bumping into each other, but staying alive. Uh, yeah, off off Shantz's hands. Shantz Burkhardt had a hole right there. Split them, and it was a kill. All right, 23-19. CPU out of timeout, so need to do it on the court right now. Gracie Hoskins, great pass. Jump set to Shantz. Ball's tipped. Oh. Gracie Hoskins digs. Tupa keeps it alive. Hoskins sends it over. Dug up by the Wolves. Attack out of the middle. And Grace, uh, Jace Grennan with the touch, but the kill for the Wolves. So 24-19, and Hartman will be back with set point. You know, CB had it, CPU had it down to one. Yep, 20-19, and they're on a 4-0 run right now. Burkhart with the serve receive. Grennan sets up back to Burkhart. She attacks, gets deflected, kept alive by the Wolves. Outside attack, kind of out of system. Grennan with the dig. Sends Hoskins way off the oh. net. Hoskins goes to Keller. Ah. And just CP Getting wasn't the there. Yeah, they weren't very locked in right there. Yeah, so we finish set one here with a 25-19. Marion win, and we will get ready for set number two. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Big thank you to our sponsor, Centerpoint Foods, reminds you to shop local and win big. Centerpoint Foods is proud to sponsor CPU students and the area communities. Abil Ability Physical Therapy in Centerpoint specializes in the evaluation and treatment of sports, orthopedic injuries. Call and schedule a free injury consult for sprains, strains, pains today. Elite Fitness is a 24-hour facility which provides its members with the opportunity to achieve their fitness goals at their convenience. Speed School, personal training, and RMR testing are available for those who wish to take the next step in their fitness journey. 
Contact Elite Fitness and join today. Center Point Family Dentistry is a small town dental practice with small town touches of caring and personal attention. Best of luck to CPU from Drs. Hickey and Hill at Center Point Family Dentistry. The 22-23 school year kicked off some great additions to the athletic programs with the athletic boosters purchasing a doctor dish for the basketball teams, tents for soccer and track, and also a new pitching machine for softball. Raising $30,000 with the help of the community, the athletic boosters sponsor the fall kickoff, homecoming cookout, can drives, and also the athletic calendars to provide these items for the athletes. As always, they are looking for new members and ideas to help for future projects. Meetings are held the second Wednesday of each month at 6 p.m. in the high school commons area. Athletic memberships are available on Infinite Campus link, which can be found on the CPU website. As always, your donation to the boosters is greatly appreciated, not only by the athletic boosters, but also the coaches and athletes. Thank you all who have supported the athletic boosters, and good luck to the Storm and Pointers. So, all right, Brent, in that, in that first set, we saw a senior night. We saw some sub issues, some lineup mix-ups, a lot of line shots in and out, several official discussions. Um, Hopefully well, we just get a little cleaner. Only one here. discussion, but it went on for yes, a long multiple time. Multiple times, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and, you know, we had it to one. Yep. It was 20 to 19, yes. and we had a chance on a free ball, and we didn't quite get it done. And Marion rattled off and the next Marion five. And Marion rattled off five, and here we are. So we'll get started here with set number two. The Wolves will be serving. And back to serve will be Paulson. Paulson is a senior outside hitter. Top spin, Maui with the serve receive. Keller sets outside to Burkhardt, Burkhardt off hands. Marion keeps it alive. Hard swing blocked by the Strowman Pointers. Oh, Tipped shoot. over. That was Weber was very, uh, very reactive there and an overpass went up with one hand and pushed it deep into zone one and uh, kill for the Wolves. Nice block right. by the defense there though. Paulson back to serve again. Top spin serve at Maui again. Maui digs it up. Burkhardt gets second touch. Tuba just sends over a free ball. Wolves looking to attack a 31. Touched by Hoskins, but crushed by Goad. Nothing yep. else Gracie Hoskins could have done there. No, nothing else. We need to, we need to work at making Goad more uncomfortable. You can't just let her Yeah, sending over like free that. balls is not going to end well. Burkhardt with the serve receive. Keller sets it out to Burkhart. Cut shot and out of bounds. So 3-0 lead here for Marion. Paulson again on a run to start the match. Molly with the serve receive. Keller back set to nobody. And Foltz gets a hand on it. And here's an early timeout from the Storm and Pointers. So Marion up four to nothing in set number two. Marion won the first set 25 to 19. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Student profile is Danny Small, a ninth grader at CPU, involved in football and wrestling. If he could give up give up any meal, it would be lunch. App he hates but uses anyway is TikTok. If he graduated from high school but didn't care about the money, what would he choose to do? Be a pro UFC fighter. And he does not mind waiting to fish. Huh. Yeah, that's kind of what fishing through is. Instagram, you prefer celebrity posts or friends, he prefers celebrity. That is Danny Small, a ninth grader at CPU. All right. Hopefully we can get back on track here. Paulson will be back to serve. And also we don't need this happening with Goad in the front row. Just Paulson running off. Serve after serve. Up. Attack Hard hit. there from Burkhart. Overpass. Foltz. Kill. And good job there by Foltz. And so 4-1 Marion lead. Keller back to serve for CPU. Keller serving 93% on the season. All right, jump floater by Keller. Received by the Wolves. 
attack, good dig there by Tupa. Keller sends the outside, Burkhart roll shot, and the kill. I think Keller may have gotten away with the double there. Set by the Wolves, and kill right there. Ball falls right in front of Keller. On the serve there from CPU, just a little light on the serve, wasn't very aggressive, and like you talked about, Brent, need to be aggressive. Any ball we send over, anything of that fashion, has to be aggressive, um, just because Goat, if she gets her hands on it, it's going to be a hard swing. Tupa with the serve receive right there. Keller sends it outside to Maui. Maui, tape shot, and out of bounds. So 6-2, Marion lead. Serving is Han, 5-2 defensive specialist. Serving 91% on the season. Sydney Miller, or Sydney Maui with the <laughs> dig there. <laughs> Burkhart sends it over, dug up by the Storm and Pointers, or by the Wolves. Good Burkhart dig to Keller, to Maui, into the net. We're just a little out of sync on, yes. the, on the back sets there. I, it almost looks like Maui is too far back. And I think Keller's serves are a little low. Yeah. So serve received for the Storm of Pointers. Tupa t gets it up. Maui pops it up again, and ball falls untouched. All right, CP really needs to take a deep breath right here, have some communication, and hopefully earn a side out right here. Tip over by Keller. Wolves keep it alive and it drops. Simple one hand, flat footed tip by Keller earns a kill there. Yeah, it really got him out of sync there, didn't it? But we CPU needs to get in sync for more than just a point. So 8 3, Marion lead. Wade in to serve. Wade is a junior, 17 aces on the season. Jump floater by Wade. Serve received by the Wolves. Out of system now. Looks like a free ball coming over. See what the pointers can do with it. Fultz with the dig. Jump set by Keller. Ah. And Maui cuts it line just out of bounds. Good offense there by the Storm and Pointers. Maui got a great swing line. Just missed it by about a two, three inches. And the setter, Alexis Pierce, is back to serve. Tupa with the serve received to Keller. Keller back to Tupa. Tupa with the kill. So 9-4, Marion lead. I just feel like CPU gets goes on a little bit of a run here, Brian. Like, I think Marion's playing really well right now, but it's nothing they're doing. CPU's just making a lot of simple mistakes himself. And Foltz back to serve. Good aggressive serve by Foltz. Oh. Marion out of system. Sends over a free ball. Great dig by Keller. Wade sets it right there to Tupa, and Tupa just hits it out. She looks to roll deep corner and just over overhead it. And Hoskins coming in the back row for Fultz. So 10-4, Marion lead, go back to serve. And serves in the net. Maybe that's, that's the, uh, the situation that just the good luck that Storm and Pointers needed to happen. So but Grennan coming in to serve and she'll set from the back row. And last time Grennan was in when CPU made that nice little run. Grennan with the serve, dug up by the Wolves. They're attacking right side. Good block by the Storm and Pointers. Wolves dig it back up. Here's another attack. Uh -huh. And Wade just can't get to it in the back corner. Yeah, nice job there. She was hitting that back corner. Yep. Line shot from the outside, and Wade got a hand on it, but just couldn't pop it up. And back to serve will be Hartman for the Wolves. Serving 96% on the season. Wade with the great serve receive. Grennan back sets it to Tupa. And Tupa swings sharp cross, but out. So 12-5, Marion lead. Again, Hartman back to serve. Jump floater. Keller with the dig. Grennan sets it back to Keller on the outside. Sharp angle cut, dug up by the Wolves. Good pass by Hoskins. Sent deep, sent deep by Grennan. Wolves keep it alive. Grennan with the dig there. Hoskins to Keller, Keller swings. Marion digs it up, attacking out of the middle. Great dig by Grennan again. Hoskins sets Keller on the right side. Keller roll shot, dug up by the Wolves. Kept alive, outside attack. Hoskins with the big dig. 
Grennan saves it from going under the net. Hoskins sends it over short. Dug up by the Wolves. Here's a right side attack. Good touch there by Tupa to Wade. Wade to Keller. Keller goes over. Oh. Miscommunication. Finally, it happened the other direction. <laughs> yeah. And that, that was a kill for the Storm much. and Pointers. So 12-6, Marion lead. And Burkhart will be coming in the front row for Wade. Back to serve is Tupa. Really good absolute pursuit there by the Storm and Pointers, not giving up on the play. Well, the difference in that play is we forced them to make a mistake. We did not. And Tupa serves it in the net make there. A mistake. Just feels like every time CPU gets a great play or Marion makes a mistake and we're about to go on a run, we miss a serve or miscommunication. So Storm Pointers just need to take a deep breath and get it back together. Well, we get it back right there. Yep. So 13 7, Marion lead. Fultz in the front row. Gracie Hoskins back to serve, the libero. Jump floater, dug up by the Wolves. Oh, out of system a little bit. Roll shot, uh, dug up by Fultz, tips it over. Yeah, dug up by the Wolves, from, back row attack. Good dig by Tupa. Grennan back sets to Keller, a little tight. Keller handles it, sends it over. Wolves attacking on the outside. Hoskins with the big dig. Marion sends it over. Oh. Keller gets a hand on it, but drops on CPU side. That's the kind of point you want to see yes. all the time. Yes, so Marion Mary earned the point. We did a lot of good things. We just didn't win the point. Yeah, exactly. It was good you volleyball. Just don't give it to him. And so Paulson is back to serve, and she's kind of caused us headaches all night on, on the line there. CPU really needs to bear down here, down 14-7 to seven in set two. Deep serve. Keller with the serve receive. Grennan outside to Burkhardt. Burkhardt, deep shot, off hands, and a kill for the Storm and Pointers. And Maui coming in the front row. Keller will go back to serve and play the setter from the back row. And I just have a feel. This is a really good lineup right here. Rotation for the Storm and Pointers. Keller's a great server. You have two big blocks up in the front row with Fultz and Maui. Served by Keller, dug up by the Wolves. Out of the middle attack. Keller gets a hand on it. Oh, so does Maui. Yeah, Try, Keller to tries to keep it alive, but doesn't. Wolves earn a, earn a side out there. So 15-8. CPU lead. Or excuse they, me, CPU down. 15-8 yep, yep. to Ma Marion. Maui's seen a lot of serves. They go at Tupa here. Keller 31 to Fultz. Fultz swings hard, dug up by the Wolves. Outside attack, Burkhart, good dig. To Keller, Keller to Maui. Maui swings, they keep it alive. Set outside to the Wolves. Touched by the Storm and Pointers. Keller, a great dig. Hoskins to Maui. Maui rips it. Kept alive by the Wolves. Tip, Hoskins, great dig. Send outside to Burkhart. Burkhart attacks it. Dug up by the Wolves Damn. and down. That was the kind of point we yes, like to see. Exactly, and that was the one the Storm and Pointers earned. Yeah, it, but even if we lost it. But it's good play, yes. Good play. You want to see All right. good solid All right, wait in to serve for CPU, down 15 to nine. The Wolves won set one. Wade is a junior, serving 96% on the season. Jump floater, nice floater. Picked up by the Wolves, setting outside. Blocked by the Storm and Pointers. Paige Foltz with the block right there. So 15-10, Marion lead. Wade will be serving again. Like you mentioned, this is a good rotation yes. for CPU. Let's get, get some points going here. Wade, good serve. Good dig by the Wolves. Attack out of the middle. And in. Just a sharp cut out of the middle by Goad. Just hits the line. That's tough because she's coming from the outside. And most girls, when they swing, they cut across their left shoulder. She didn't. She kept it on that right shoulder and found the opening. So Pierce back to serve for Marion. Serving 89% on the season. Hoskins, good serve, receive. Middle set to Folds. Folds with the kill. Great set by Keller. Good up-tempo offense right there by the Storm and Pointers. Folds comes in, crushes a one off the block for the kill. All right, 16-11, Marion lead. Folds back to serve again. She's the leader on the team in ace serves. That's a good growth to her game from last year. Folds, good serve there, dug up by the Wolves. Oh, and, and that hit off the block a yep. little, and... Fultz was going one way, and it came back yep. another way. 
Yeah, she has improved a lot in the area of serving compared to last year. Goad back to serve for the Wolves. All right, Storm and Pointers. Serve received by Maui. Keller sets Tupa off the net. Tupa roll shot deep, kept alive by the Wolves. Right side set by the Wolves. Touch on the block that Maui keeps it alive. Keller up, and Hoskins tips it short, but dug up by the Wolves. They send it outside and out. And both officials looking if there was a touch and no touch by the Storm and Pointers. So Grennan in for Maui. She'll be setting from the back row. And Brent, that may have been the quickest six rotations I've seen in a long time. Yes. For both teams. Good serve by Grennan off the net and aces it. She was there but just couldn't get yep. it up. Her momentum was on the ground already when it hit that net. Yep, Grennan right off the tape, drops in zone three for the ace. So 17-13. Marion lead. Another good serve. Serve received by the Wolves. Right side attack. Big block for the Storm and Pointers. And that is Tupa Shantz and Shantz. And Tupa, 17-14, Marion lead. So down by seven at one point. Got it down to three now. Just need to keep chipping away. Grennan, nice little top spin. Wolves dig it up. Attack from the outside. Tip. Tupa right there ready for it. Keller gets the set to the right. From Grennan, dug up by the Wolves. Outside attack, roll shot deep. Grennan digs it to Hoskins. Hoskins goes to Keller. Keller deep line, kept alive by the Wolves. Attacking from the outside, another roll shot. Tupa with the dig. We're going outside to Tupa from Grennan. Dug up again by the Wolves. Attack out of the middle, tip. Gracie Hoskins there ready. Great set by Ad Eddie Tupa, sent over right there by Keller. Wolves keep it alive. Tip over, touch oh. by Shantz. And ball still alive. Touch again by the defense. Grennan dumps mid up, oh, dug up by the Hartman Wolves. There. Back row attack by Goat. Hoskins with the dig. Shantz oh. isn't there to make the play. Ball was really tight, and she kind of tender footed yeah, it near the net. A little bit too far away there, but yep. great point. Great Both rally points. there. 18 14, Marion lead. The libero, Natalie Hartman, will be going back to serve. Senior has 22 aces on the season. Jump floater, right to Wade. Wade, perfect pass. Set in the middle to Sean. Sean's with the kill. Again, there's her coming across the left side of her body. Uses that, it was more of a swing than a tip there, but a controlled shot to zone two. So 18-15, Marion lead. Carmen Randbarger into serve. And Burkhart in the front row. And again, a three-point game. Great serve by Randbarger. Dug up by the Wolves. Roll shot deep, Randbarger with the dig. Grennan bump sets to Burkhardt on the outside. Burkhardt swings, gets a touch by the Wolves, touch by the Wolves, oh. sent over Sean, sent oh. it back, dug up again by the Wolves, really out of system. Kept alive, Burkhardt gets the dig, one-hander by Grennan, sent over by Hoskins. Marion a little more in system now. Swings, to get a touch, Grennan with the dig. Hoskins with the set to the outside to Burkhardt. Burkhardt sends it over, Marion keeps it alive. Sean's with the tip over, and Storm and Pointers point. Yeah, but another great yes. point. You know, the last half of this match, great points. Both sides, yes. It's fun volleyball to watch. Yeah, 18-16, Marion lead. Randbarger is, oh, they're going to wipe up the floor. A lot of diving at that, yeah. at that spot. Let's get it cleaned up there. Big shout out to our facilities. Will Engelbrecht keeping it a nice, cool gym temperature in here right now. Much appreciated by Coach Halleck. Top spins up, Whoa. ace by Rambarger. Marion wasn't ready for the serve Was receive. not ready, 18-17. Up official, serve, serve, and they were all standing and straight up and down. We're gonna have a timeout by Marion. 18-17, Marion lead here in set two. Marion won set one. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. And Brent, you've talked about the past, the past what, 12 points, 13 points, it's been great volleyball. Yeah. This is what we both expected to see coming into Yeah, not this. just say, oh, I'm just gonna give you this yep. point. No, it, and it's points not aren't, been that way. Yeah, it's not scoring points based on errors. It's good volleyball, good tips, battles at the net. It, it's fun to watch. Just very different than set one was to me. Very, well, even the beginning of set two Absolutely. Here, had a little trouble getting started and um, the student profile is Ellie Shellhorn. She's a ninth grader at CPU involved in volleyball and track. She likes the Celebrity Family Feud. And Ooh. if she could live in an amusement park or zoo, she would choose a zoo. She would also like to keep her name, and she thinks the monkey is the rudest. That is Ellie Shellhorn, a ninth grader at CPU. Nice job, Ellie. 
All right, so we've talked about points out of timeouts. I think CPU scored on every single timeout. Yeah, it's so going to have to happen again here. Rambarger deep and oh. out. So 19-17, Marion lead. Still really nice run by the Storm and Pointers right there. Rambarger came in to serve for Tupa and did a great job. Tupa subs back in for back row. And Maddie Gustafson back in for the Wolves. Has 11 aces on the season. Good pass by Hoskins to Grennan to Keller. Keller swings, dug up by the Wolves, really tight. There's a tip, Hoskins digs it. Grennan sets it outside to Burkhart. Burkhart roll shot and kill. Roll shot off the block, dropped in zone three. They couldn't recover. So 19-18, Marion lead, and Hoskins will be back to serve. And I know you and I are just waiting for the Storm and Pointers to take that lead, and I feel like things are going to go the right direction. Hoskins, good serve there, out of system by the Wolves, and a huge set and kill there out of the middle by Weber. Overpass, but Pierce did a great job going up, getting her hands on it, and Weber ran a one out of the middle, and CPU's block was late. So 2018, Marion lead, and we're back with Paulson back to serve. Top spin floater, great pass by Hoskins. Jump set by Grennan and kill by Foltz. Foltz was fired up. She came down and that was a double fist pump and yell. Yeah, and nice job to get Paulson out of the serve rotation. Absolutely. That rotation for them has got a lot of points so far yeah. tonight. Back to serve is Keller, 2019, Marion lead. Floater by Keller, overpass. And Burkhart goes up, gets a hand on it, sends it back to the Wolves. Wolves are about to send it over. It's Goad, dug up by Burkhart, back set to Maui. Maui with the kill! Oh, ties it up at 20. Finally got to this point. That was a great set by Keller to get Maui the ball there. Maui goes deep service corner off a, off a back row player and out of bounds. So Keller back to serve, tied at 20. Keller jumps up, ace! And an ace by Keller. Keller found the donut, and that's a timeout for the Wolves. And so CPU takes their first lead of the night here in game two, 21 to 20. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. And we'll give a big shout out to uh, Parker Leibolt listening at home. I've uh, received several text messages from him that he seems pretty fired up at uh, at Iowa right now, so thanks All for right. listening, well, Parker. Let's, let's help us get a victory there, Parker. The student profile is Lucas Lopeta, a ninth grader at CPU, involved in uh, basketball, baseball track, and would like to be an FFA and FCA. Best advice you receive from your parents, don't be afraid to ask questions. He would like to visit Alaska someday. His favorite thing to eat for dinner is enchiladas. And something you learned as a result of the recent COVID-19 pandemic, don't let it be an excuse. That's Lucas Lopeta, a freshman at CPU. All right, 21-20. Points out of Again, timeouts, Brent. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. Keller back to serve. Keller jump floater, keeps it in play. Good serve. Wolves out of system. It's like a roll shot cross. Foltz gets a touch, but dug up by Burkhart. Outside to Maui, Maui swings, dug up by the Wolves. Outside attack to Goad, blocked, oh. kept alive by the Storm and Pointers. Hoskins sends it short, dug up by the Wolves, tip coming. Here it is, dug up by Foltz, a hand on it. Burkhart keeps it alive, sends it over to the Wolves. Set outside, here's the big swing, but a tip. Oh. And CPU is there, just couldn't pull it up. Great job yeah. by Goad there. Yep, Keller and Burkhart both diving in and Getting a hand on it, just couldn't pop it up. Yeah, so 21-21 is our score. Back to serve for Marion is Han. Very common drill in practice here, Brett. 21-21, first one to four wins. Tupo with the serve, overpass, and Goad kills it back. Yeah, you can't, you can't have that. So we're going to have a timeout by CPU with Marion up 22-21. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Hey, results from earlier tonight. The CPU cross-country team was up at Jessup. The CPU girls finished in first place as a team. Individually, Grace Essling finished in ninth. Avante Dunn in 27th. Emily Bowe in 36th. On the boys' side, they finished in third place as a team. Blaze Havel finished in sixth. Brody Barons in 11th. Kale Essling in 25th. Carter East in 27th. And Casey Kurtz, 28th. 
All right. All right, so CPU up, 21-20. Marion calls a timeout. Rattles off two straight points. They break Keller's serve and score themselves. So now both teams out of timeouts. Marion leads 22-21. Marion wins set one. So this is big for the Storm and Pointers right here. And Hahn back to serve again, serving 91% on the season. The lefty. Tupa digs it up. Maui keeps it alive. Keller just sends it over deep with a free ball. Quick offense by the Wolves. Ooh. And out of bounds. Goad right there. Just had a set that was too low. Yeah. You saw her tell, tell her setter. Um, she was telling Pierce right there, you got to get that a little higher for her. All right, so we are tied at 22. Good job, Coach Halleck. Way to win the point out of the timeout. And Weber, or excuse me, the libero comes back into the lineup. Wade, jump floater, good serve. Dug up by the Wolves, set in the middle to Goad, and it's a kill. Block was very late there. So 23-22, Marion lead. Pierce goes to the service line. The senior setter. Stays down, top spin serve, dug up by Wade. Keller sends it out to Tupa, Tupa tips line, dug up by the Wolves. Sloppy ball, but comes over to the Sermon Pointers. Dug up by Hoskins. Keller to Tupa, sends it over. Wolves keep it alive. Outside attack, roll shot. Keller with the touch. Tupa with the touch, sent over by Keller. Ball stays alive, that's a great save. Wade with the dig. Keller sends it out to Tupa. Tupa off the block, dug up by the Wolves. Right side attack, uh, and off bolts his hands and down. Had the block there, just couldn't quite yes. get it over and squared yep. up far enough, so yeah, 24. 22, Pierce back to serve. Fultz was there, just need to get that penetration and that push over the net right there. Floater, Wade with the dig. Back set to Maui, Maui kills it! That's what we like to see. Yes. So 24, 23, Marion lead. Whitey in the deep corner, almost with the catch, <laughs> just over his hands. A true Cardinals fan yeah, over there. You know, if Whitey catches the ball, it's got to be good luck. I, I, if Whitey catches the ball, I think the night's over. CP <laughs> wins. So back to serve is Fultz. Senior has 23 aces on the season. Deep jump floater. Good serve. Overpass, but dug up. CP oh, with the good block. Good job by Maui. Tupo with block. the dig there. Keller back to Maui. Maui with the kill. Ties, Ties it at, at 24. 24. Great sharp cut there by Maui, and Keller did a great job getting there to get that ball up in the air. And it looked like Coach Paulson was going to call a timeout yeah, there. And she told, looked around and said, do out. I have one? And down official it, gave it, her the It nine. does. It doesn't have it right You're up there. right. Deep serve, serve received by the Wolves. Set outside to Goad, and crushes mm. it. Shaunce and Maui on the right side. They had a hole in the block, and Goad went right through it. But Goad in the back row now. Goad in so. the back row. So 25-24, Marion lead here in set two. Hoskins with the serve receive. Keller sets oh. right side to Maui. Maui reaches mm. and Can't get it. out of bounds the around, around the pin. Yeah, so 26-24. Last part of that match was just outstanding. So it looks like it may be a, a five-set night if the Storm and Pointers are going to earn that win. Yeah, let's hope so. So... Set one, the Wolves won that one 25-19. It was down to one point, and they rattled off five to finish it off. And here in set two, Marion won that one 26-24. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Our sponsor, Centerpoint Foods, reminds you to shop local and win big. Centerpoint Foods is proud to sponsor CPU students and the area communities. Ability Physical Therapy in Center Point specializes in the evaluation and treatment of sports and orthopedic injuries. Call and schedule a free injury consult for sprains, strains, and pains today. Elite Fitness is a 24-hour facility which provides its members with the opportunity to achieve their fitness goals at their convenience. Speed School, personal training, and RMR testing are available for those who wish to take the next step in their fitness journey. Contact Elite Fitness and join today. Centerpoint Family Dentistry is a small town dental practice with small town touches of caring and personal attention. Best of luck to CPU from Drs. Hickey and Hill at Centerpoint Family Dentistry. 
The 22-23 school year kicked off some great additions to the athletic programs with the athletic boosters purchasing a doctor dish for basketball, tents for soccer and track, and also a new pitching machine for softball. Raising $30,000 with the help of the community, the athletic boosters sponsored the fall kickoff, homecoming cookout, can drives, and also the athletic calendars to provide these items for the athletes. As always, they are looking for new members and ideas to help for future projects. Meetings are held the second Wednesday of each month at 6 p.m. in the high school commons area. Athletic memberships are available on Infinite Campus link, which can be found on the CPU website. As always, your donation to the boosters is greatly appreciated, not only by the athletic boosters, but also by the coaches and athletes. Thank you all who have supported the athletic boosters, and good luck to the Storm and Pointers. All right, well, that second half of that match was fun volleyball. Top notch there. We just got to keep going and play that consistent. I mean, that's what you'd expect to see from two ranked teams in yes. Walmack play. So, yeah, CPU just, I mean, how many times they had it tied a couple times? They had the lead you know, late in that set. So, and when you talk about the Walmack Conference Tournament, you're going to have, what, seven teams that will play just like that. Yes, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch. All right, it looks like CPU on the court, ready to go. The Wolves coming out of their huddle. And CPU will be serving. And it will be Keller back to serve. Still a very good crowd here tonight, Brent, for senior night. So Keller, junior setter and right side hitter, is serving 93% on the season, does have 19 aces. And checked everything out here, and it looks like we are ready to go. Keller with the jump floater. Good serve. Serve received well by Marion out of the middle. Dug up by Keller. And Hoskins just can't get there right in front of the CPU bench. So one nothing lead here as Paulson goes back to serve. Paulson has had quite a night. The last time we actually didn't give her a run. Maui, good serve receive right there. Keller sends it to Burkhart. Burkhart rolls shot and the kill. And ties it up at one. And Marion nearly got a pancake right there, but wasn't, uh, wasn't able to pop that ball up. So Burkhart, nice line roll shot there. So Wade back to serve for CPU. It would be also nice, we need to kind of have a run or stick around yes. at the beginning of the set. Absolutely, Wade, good serve, dug up by the Wolves. Good block by the Storm and Pointers on Goad. Marion digs it up, sends it back over, another touch by the block. Good dig by Hoskins, Keller to Maui. Maui ah. gets blocked there. That was Goad with the block right there. That's a good swing by Maui, outstanding block. So 2-1, Marion lead. Hahn in to serve for the Wolves. Also in the lineup is Pavelka comes in the front row for Marion. Dug up by Wade and aced. Wade got a hand on it but just couldn't get it all the way to Keller and it drops. Keller getting a fingertip on it. So again, you talked about a strong start for the Storm and Pointers. They need to uh, be able to do that right now. Hahn back to serve. Lefty in the hits net. it in the net. So Schantz comes in the front row for CPU, and Fultz is back to serve. Floater from Fultz, good serve. Out of system by the Wolves, and no communication, and the ball almost drops, and um, Hartman there tried to get a hand on it, but put it in the net. Point yeah, for the that was just kind of an odd yes. play there for Marion. I don't know if they thought something else was supposed to be happening, but Fultz back to serve again. We are tied at three. Good topspin served by Fultz right there. Dug up by the Wolves, sent to the outside. Blocked, but out of bounds by the Storm and Pointers. And Goad had a big swing there. It seemed the Shantz and Maui were there, but blocked it out of bounds on the Marion side. Pierce 
Back to serve for the Wolves. Serving 89% on the season. Wade with a good serve received to Keller to Maui. And Maui with the kill. That was right they, off. They got her last time, so she Pavelka's had to, had to hand, get it back. Yeah. I think Pavelka may have actually taken that one off the arm and then the forehead. Randbarger back to serve. Uh, Grennan back to serve. Excuse me, Grennan. Thank you. You're welcome. Jump floater from Grennan. Good serve received by the Wolves. Lack of communication there out of system. Sends over the Storm and Pointers. Shantz tips it over back middle. Wolves attack from the right side. Touched. Wade touches again, but can't control it. Yeah, our, our blocks are really getting a hand up yes. now on him. And Goad in the service position, serving 91% on the season. Keller with the touch, Wade with the second ball. Hoskins sends it over, dug up by the Wolves, out of system a little bit, good dig by Grennan. Hoskins goes outside to Keller, Keller swings and earns the kill. Cross so shot from the right side. Ties it up at five. Burkhart coming in. And Tupa back to serve. Tupa stays down, keeps that serve in bounds. Back set, Tupa with the dig. Grennan sets it to Hoskins. Hoskins roll shots it in. Wolves set it to the outside. Touched uh -huh. by Hoskins and out of bounds. Yeah, Paulson with a nice hit there from the outside position. And Weber comes back into the lineup for the Wolves. And back to serve is Hartman. Jump floater. Perkhart with the serve receive. Grennan, great set to Keller on the right side. Dug up by the Wolves. Set outside. Roll shot. Perkhart with the dig. Hoskins sets to Keller again. Keller roll shot, but dug up by the Wolves. Back row attack by Goad. Dug up by, by Grennan, but Burkhart can't get to it. And ends up as a kill. So 7-5, Marion lead. Hartman back to serve. She's the libero for the Wolves. Deep and out. Foltz comes back in, Hoskins back to serve. Shantz out in the libero switch. Jump serve by Hoskins, good serve, passes tight. Good block by Foltz right there. Marion digs it back up. Outside attack, roll shot, Burkhart with the hands. Grennan back set to Keller, touched. It didn't go or over not. the net, didn't go over the net. Four hits. Four hits on yep. CPU. So 8-6, Marion lead. Grennan threw a really nice back set right there. It was almost like Keller wasn't ready for it, and maybe it was a little too low for her. And back to serve is Gustafson. She has 11 aces on the season. And serves in the net. CPU has to take advantage. Marion's missed a couple serves here. And we're having our front row that you think, think can really do yep. a A great job. blocking front row and a good swinging front row, so yes. It's a good rotation for CP right here with Keller serving. Dug up by the Wolves, tipped over. Hoskins right there ready for it. Back set to Maui from Keller. Swings and it looks like it's gonna go out of bounds for the kill. And ties it up at eight. Great set there by Keller. Maui got there, swung hard cross and Wolves couldn't handle it. Jump floater by Keller, short off the tape. Dug up by the Wolves but out of system. Roll shot coming. Hoskins another dig. Great set there by Keller to Burkhart. Shoots at line. Dug up by Goad. Sends it to the outside. Keller with a good dig. Hoskins there. Sets Maui off the block. And, and a they kill. can't get it. CPU takes the lead. 9-8. Good hits by all three hitters there for the Storm and Pointers. Keller continues serving. Jump floater deep. Mishandled by the Wolves, kept alive, out of system. Goad with the tip, Hoskins with the touch, Wade, ke or Tupa keeps alive, Burkhart rolls short, dug up by the Wolves, roll shot, Burkhart digs it, Foltz goes and tips it, Wolves keep it alive, out of system attack, dug up by Keller, Hoskins to Maui, Maui with the Maui kill! Maui off, 10-8 lead for Storm and Pointers. First 
two point lead of the night and we have a timeout by Marion. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Our student profile is ninth grader Drew Foltz. Involved in baseball, basketball, and golf. He prefers a dog over a cat. And song always wants he would dance to is Five Foot Nine by Morgan Wallen. Yep. What is one skill you wish you had? <laughs> Steph Curry shooting. Well, we can all just pretend we have yeah, one. Yeah, I, I would love if Drew had that come basketball season. I think everybody would. Yes. Any, all the kids. Uh, what class have you learned the most in? That would be Spanish. Bien. And most meaningful experience in your life thus far, going to California with my family. That is Drew Fultz, a ninth grader at CPU. Brother of senior Paige Fultz, middle for the Storm and Pointer volleyball team. All right, so 10-8 CPU lead. And back to serve is Keller. Keller has 19 aces on the season. Jump floater, point out of a timeout here, hoping for the Storm and Pointers. Set out of the middle, and mm. Foltz gets a hand on it, but drops on our side. Just didn't break the plane of the net there on the block. So Marion earns the point out of the timeout. And back to serve is Paulson. 10-9, Storm and Pointer lead in set three. Top spin, Maui, good serve receive right there. Foltz gets the set, but Keller sets it a little bit behind her and can't get the tip, so we're even at 10. I think she saw a little opening over yep. there on the right side, was going to try to hit it. So Paulson back to serve again. Good dig by Tupa. Sets the outside to Maui. Maui goes off hands, keeps it alive, but can't keep it alive. Gets a touch on it. Foltz gets a hand, and it drops. So 11-10, Marion lead. They regain the lead with three straight. Yep, right out of the timeout. Well, CPU just looking to earn a side out right here. Paulson with the top spin serve. Great pass by Maui. Backs up to Burkhart. Burkhart oh, off the tape. Oh, keeps it hustle. alive. Dug up by Maui. Keller goes back to Maui. She's off the net, but the kill for Maui. She really was pleased with herself on that one. Yes, she was. <laughs> that was a tough one. The ball was behind her. She kept having great shot by Burkhart. Rolls along the tape, drops in, and a great dig by the Wolves there. And CPU is still able to earn the point. So we are tied at 11. Adeline Wade going back to serve. Side spin. I think she missed hit it, but dug up by the Wolves. Out to Goad. Goad tips. Kept alive by the Storm and Pointers. Keller sends it deep. Dug up by the Wolves. Going back to Goad again. And out of bounds. Wow. Very close once again. Good communication by the back row. And so Wade will be serving again. Serving 96% on the season. 12-11 CPU lead here. Jump floater. Service seed well by the... Ooh. Good dig there by Hoskins. To Keller outside to Tupa. Dug up by the Wolves. Go to another swing. Blocked. Not over the net there. Yes. And a the forward call. Net. So 13-11 CPU lead. Good little counter here by the Storm and Pointers. So Wade... Tupa Fultz, Maui in the front row. Wade back to serve. Jump floater, dug up. Be ready for a tip here. Good swing by the Wolves. Dug up by Wade, this time dug up by Keller. Hoskins out to Maui. Oh, and just, just out. out. And Pavelka coming in the front row for the Wolves. And back to serve is Han. Han serving 91% on the season, 13-12. Storm and Pointer lead. Lefty serves, Wade, good serve receive. Front row to Foltz. Foltz gets blocked, tries to keep it alive and can't. I think we kind of have to give up on that a little. That's not a good enough pass to get a good enough middle hit there. Yeah, Seth unless you're going to tip low it. Yep, Foltz had a hard time handling that one. There's the serve, and CPU gets aced. Wade gets a hand on it, but drops. And Marion takes the lead, 14 to 13 here in set number three. Marion won the first two sets. Wade, good serve receive there. Keller sets it to Tupa. Tupa gets the ball blocked and touched. Sends CPU oh, sends it over. It lands in. in. So Fultz just got a ball out of the net, sends it over, goes deep back middle. 
Marion doesn't play it and lands inbounds by about a foot and a half. So Fultz will go back to serve. We are tied at 14. Fultz on the season serving 91%. Good serve by Fultz. Good serve received by the Wolves. Goed out of the middle. And Wade almost gets there but can't. That's the first time we've seen Goed with a really nice tip that doesn't hit yeah, the net. Yeah, she's tried there. it a couple times yes. but it hasn't really got it to go. And that one was a good one. Yes. And back to serve is Pierce for the Wolves. She's their senior setter. Hoskins, good serve receive. Keller sends it deep to Tupa. Tupa roll shots in. Attack from the right side from the Wolves. Miscommunication by Wade and Keller there, and the ball drops. And 16-14 Marion lead. This is where CP really needs to buckle down. Absolutely. Need to break Pierce here. A nice right side to Maui would be great here. Good pass by Hoskins. Goes to Shantz in the middle and she hits it out deep. So 17-14. Marion lead Pierce back to serve. And serves it in the net. Thank you. And you saw Coach Hawk there was debating on calling a timeout and didn't. Well played. And so Grennan in the back row. She will be the setter. Maui comes out there. Jump floater from Grennan. Good serve received from the Wolves. Goat out of the middle, and hits out. it deep. 17-16. Marion lead, Grennan will serve again. Grennan does have 24 aces on the season, including one tonight so far. Grennan jump floater. Good dig by the Wolves, outside. Roll shot in the net, 17-17. And, oh, I thought Marion was gonna call a timeout well, there. You saw Coach Paulson turn to her bench and say, I don't wanna call a timeout right here. Yeah, 17 she's used one. Good serve there by Grennan, dug up by the Wolves. Outside again, roll shot deep, and she has no choice now. Yeah, and she is gonna call a timeout with CPU up 18 to 17 here in set three. This is Brett Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Student profile is Braden Beck. He's a senior at CPU, involved in swimming, golf, and FCA. He does have two dogs named Sydney and Sammy. His favorite sports team is the Chicago Bears. His favorite athlete is Victor Hovland. And his favorite quote, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And how has CPU prepared you for life after high school? Many social skills. That is Braden Beck, a senior at CPU. Those of you uh, following the wild card chase and the Chicago Cubs, who are just a game up right now, they are beating the Atlanta Braves, the first place Atlanta Braves, 6-5 in the bottom of the eighth. Wow. All right, so Grennan back to serve. Let's see if we can stay on this run here. And Marion is now out of timeouts for the set. Grennan, jump floater, good serve. Dug up by the Wolves, back row attack in the net. Good uh, point out of a timeout by the Storm and Pointers there. And 1917 CPU lead. Sophomore Grennan serving. Jump floater low, dug up by the Wolves, out of system a little bit. Big swing from the back row, dug up by Hoskins. Grennan sets Tupa, Tupa rips it for a kill. So CPU up 20 to 17. Nice little run out of a timeout here by the Storm and Pointers. Grennan back to serve. Floater dug up by the Wolves, set outside. Goad with the kill. Keller and Chance were there, just couldn't get that penetration over the net. And Goad will go back to serve. CPU up 20 to 18. Goad on the season serving 91%. Wade with the serve receive. Great back set by Grennan. Tupa keeps it in play on the right side. Wolves attacking from the right side. Touched on the block. Keller with the serve receive. Hoskins out to Keller. And the kill. 
Pierce was there as a defensive player, uh, as a setter, but it goes off her hands, out of bounds. And Ranbarger will be in to serve for the Storm and Pointers. Burkhart comes in the front row, CPU up 21-18. Ranbarger on the season, serving 87%. Good serve there by Ranbarger. Dug up by the Wolves, set it outside. Touched by the, blo uh, by the block. Burkhart with the dig, back set to Keller. Keller with the swing, dug up by the Wolves. Kept alive, back row attack. Oh. Rambarger with the set. Sean pushes it over from the set from Grennan. The Wolves dig it up. Attacking on the middle, tip. Good dig by Grennan, sent over by Burkhart. Oh, just, just out. out. Grennan just made a great one-hand diving save, and it came all the way to the outside. Burkhart did a good job getting two hands on it and pushing it just a little deep. So 21-19, CPU up. Back to serve for Marion is Natalie Hartman. She is the libero. Serve received by Tupa and a beauty. Grennan out to Burkhart. Burkhart rips it off the block. Sean says a great job keeping it alive. Sends it back over. Wolves dig it up. Roll shot over. Grennan with the dig. Hoskins ready to set. Keller on the right side. Keller swings. Dug up by the Wolves. Kept alive. Passes it over. Free ball. Hoskins with the serve received. Back set to Keller. Keller with the tip. Dug up by the Wolves. Wolves attack right side. Good touch on the block. Burkhart keeps it alive. Keller oh. pushes it deep. Dug up by the Wolves. Out of the middle, good dig by Hoskins. Burkhart takes it, Keller attacks again. Middle of the court, dug up by the Wolves. Attack, middle, dug up by Keller right there. Grennan sets Burkhart on the outside. Burkhart goes sharp, dug up by the Wolves. Wolves attack right side. Gracie Hoskins with the dig. Grennan with the save. Keller with the point, uh, pops it up. Ball still alive, Grennan sets it to Burkhart. Burkhart goes oh. for the roll and just couldn't get there. Great point, though. Yes. Both teams had great defense. I thought Grennan had that ball down, but a nice one-hand dig Yeah, there. and I thought whoever pushed it tied the back, but Hartman really read that yes. and got back to that corner. 21-20 CPU lead. Hartman serving for Marion. He has 22 aces on the season. Good pass by Hoskins to Grennan to Shantz. Shantz blocked, dug up by Hoskins. Burkhardt just sends it over with a good swing, dug up by the Wolves. Good block by Burkhardt and Shantz. Wolves dig it up. Tack on the outside. Grennan with the dig. Hoskins sets Burkhardt. Burkhardt sends it over, gets blocked. Hoskins, great dig. Shantz there. CPU still battling. Burkhardt sends it deep. Wolves dig it up. Back row attack right here. Free ball. Grennan digs it. Hoskins sets Keller in the right side of the kill. Great point. Both teams really playing great defense and there. Very good wherewithal by Hoskins there because she knew she was behind the 10-foot line. She could use her hands to set that ball. And 22-20. Jump floater by Hoskins. Ball's knuckling. Dug up by the Wolves. Ooh, could have been a two ball, but wasn't. Good dig by Hoskins. Grennan keeps it alive. Dug up by the Wolves. Back row attack by Goad. Ah. And drops in the donut. Four Storm and Pointers were running toward it, but nobody got it. So 22-21 CPU lead into serve for Marion is Maddie Gustafson. The senior serving 87% on the season. Keller with the serve receive off the tape. Grennan sets it out to Burkhart. Burkhart rips it line and down gets the line. Goad gets a hand on it, but out of bound. Big swing there by Burkhart. Yeah, 23-21 and Maui back in the front row for CPU. Keller back to serve. Keller serving 93% on the Good season. Good jump floater. Wolves out of system. Free ball comes over. Hoskins with the pass. Keller back sets to Maui. Maui with the kill. 24-21 CPU lead. And that's really good fast offense there, Brent. That set was low to Maui. Maui got there quick, and the block couldn't get there. And Keller back to serve again. She does have 20 aces on the season, including one tonight. Good serve by Keller, dug up by the Wolves. Good dig right there by Tupa on the pass over. Burkhart swings, Wolves dig it up. Right side, little slide action. Dug up by Keller, good job by Maui keeping it alive. Hoskins sends it over, dug up by the Wolves. Good touch by Burkhart to Tupa. Maui sends it over, dug up by the Wolves. Going outside, Hoskins with the dig. Keller keeps it alive, Tupa sends it back over. Dig by the Wolves, 
sets back to the outside. Oh. Block was there by Foltz and Maui, the two you want there, but it drops on CPU side. Yeah, we just didn't get enough hits that last yes. couple times. We needed a couple swings there. 24-22 CPU up here in set number three. Paulson back to serve for Marion. Top spin. Tupa, great serve receive. Maui gets on the outside. Swings. Touched by the Wolves. Tip coming. Hoskins, great one-hand save. Great set there by Grennan. And it's in down the line. Or by, sorry, that was by Keller. Logan Keller made an outstanding set from the 10-foot line to get Maui on the right side and another quick for the kill. All right. CP wins game or set three, 25-22. Marion won the first two sets, 25-19 and 26-24. So ever since halfway through the second set, we have seen some high-level uh, volleyball here. Absolutely. And it reminds me of the regional final game from last year. Oh, how, you yes. know, both teams were just hit and they were digging up everything. Yes. And exciting, exciting volleyball. Hey, a big shout-out to our sponsors for the Stormcast, Centerpoint Foods. Reminds you to shop local and win big. Center Point Foods is proud to sponsor CPU students and the area communities. Ability, Ability Physical Therapy in Center Point specializes in the evaluation and treatment of sports and orthopedic injuries. Call and schedule a free injury consult for sprains, strains, and pains today. Elite Fitness is a 24-hour facility which provides its members with the opportunity to achieve their fitness goals at their convenience. Speed School Personal training and RMR testing are available for those who wish to take the next step in their fitness journey. Contact Elite Fitness and join today. Centerpoint Family Dentistry is a small town dental practice with small town touches of caring and personal attention. Best of luck to CPU from Drs. Hickey and Hill at Centerpoint Family Dentistry. The 22-23 school year kicked off some great additions to the athletic programs with the athletic boosters purchasing a doctor dish for basketball, tents for soccer and track, and also a new pitching machine for softball. Raising $30,000 with the help of the community, the athletic boosters sponsor the fall kickoff, homecoming cookout, can drives, and also the athletic calendars to provide these items for the athletes. As always, they are looking for new members and ideas to help for future projects. Meetings are held the second Wednesday of each month at 6 p.m. in the high school commons area. Athletic memberships are available on the Infinite Campus link, which can be found on the CPU website. As always, your donation to the boosters is greatly appreciated, not only by the athletic boosters, but also the coaches and athletes. Thank you all who have supported the athletic boosters, and good luck to the Storm and Pointers. All right, Brent, getting ready for set number four here. It's a... Uh Pretty exciting volleyball, as, as you mentioned there. And it, Storm and Pointer's out on the court. They're ready to go. Student section has seemed to uh, shrunken a little bit, but still a lot of kids well, over Well, you know, there. The, the freshmen have to get home That's true. by 9, so it's, it's their time. It is, it is their time. You're right. All right, so Marion will be serving here to start off set number 4. All right, CPU got the, got the set they needed to get there. It's the fun part about volleyball we always talk about. You can't win unless you win. There's no clock. Well, and you no know kind of how slow set one was. We had it down to one point there at 2019. And set two, we started off really slow, and we actually took the lead there Yes. in set two. So in set three, Paulson leading off, serving for Marion. Maui with the serve receive. Keller sends it out to Burkhart. Burkhart roll shot, dug up by the Wolves. Set outside, and out by Goat there. She tried to go down the Sharp opposite cut, yep. line there. All right, Keller back to serve again. Keller spent a lot of time back there serving recently. She did, CPU up one to nothing. Overpass, and CPU on Yeah, she underneath. hit the net there. Yep. And there's been, you know, they've done that a lot. Pierce in really good hands, and she does a great job around the net. That was just a little too hot to handle. All right, 2 nothing CPU lead here. Keller serving. Deep floater, dug up. Out of the middle, off Fultz's head, dug up by Hoskins. <laughs> to Burkhart, Burkhart blocked. 
and just a little slow on the defensive side for the Storm and Pointers. So 2-1 CPU lead. Pavelka is going to come in the front row for the Wolves. And back to serve will be Han, the 5-2 senior for the Wolves. Maui with the serve received there. Keller jump set to Foltz. Nice little 31 there. Set was a little low, but Foltz did a nice job handling it and tipped it to the donut. So Wade coming in for Burkhart on the Marion side. Weber's coming into the line. Whoops, excuse me. The Libera's coming in the lineup. And Tupa to the front row for the Sturman Pointers. And Wade back to serve, serving 96% on the season. Good jump floater short. Sets the outside to go. Touched on the block. CPU just couldn't get it up. Good touch on the block there. Wade came diving in, but just couldn't get a touch on it. So 3-2, CPU lead, Pierce back to serve. Pierce is the Good dig senior setter. Wade Excuse there, me. Keller sets it to Foltz, who tips it over. Dug up by Marion, tip back, Keller good dig. Hoskins sets Maui on the right side. Maui high and off the block for the off kill. Off the block. Oh, oh and she hit the top of her yeah. finger. Maui was up on that yes, one. Yes, she was off the top of Goad's hands, and she already has her hand taped, her right hand. And yeah, she, is, she was grimacing there, but yeah. she's she's tough. She'll she'll hang around. Yeah, she is definitely but that, feeling that's that. That's quite thing. a jump there by Maui <laughs> to get higher. She was the top of the pin. To get higher than Goad. Yep. Folds, good serve there. Marrying a little out of system. And you saw Goad would not use an open hand there, Brent. She went closed fist. Yeah. And we off the storm, off Foltz's hands in the back row and kill for the Wolves. But that's something we need to pay attention to. She keeps looking at her hand here, and it's her right hand. We'll see here how she serves. She's saying she's okay. 4-3, Storm and Pointer lead. As Goad back to serve. Hoskins, good pass there. Good set by Keller. Tupa swings, block, comes back over. Maui on the right side, dug up by Maui. Set back to Tupa, Tupa reaches, sharp angle. Good job, overpass by the Wolves. Maui just goes up with two hands and directionally blocks it down. And that's a really tough skill, Brian, because most girls want to go up and swing at that, but Maui was high enough, she can go up, control well, it. And to put it down, a lot of times down. they want it to go it. up. Yes, exactly. Especially when you're over the net like yes. she is. Absolutely. So Grennan in to serve for the Storm and Pointers. Jump floater Ooh. deep, Goat. She will not use that hand. Hoskins with the pass. Grennan out to Tupa. Tupa rips it. Dug up by the Wolves. Hoskins passes it to Grennan. Grennan to Keller. Dug up by the Wolves again. Attack out of the middle. Tip. Grennan with the dig. Hoskins sets Keller on the outside. Dug up by Goat in the back row. To the outside. Hoskins gets a touch. Wade's following it over. <laughs> Tupa sends it over. Great dig up there by Wade. Wolves set in the right side. Swings and it's out. out. So 6-3, Storm and Pointer lead. Great play there by Wade running to the bench. And the bench did a great job. Yeah, and can Just she go beyond the basketball court? So she stayed in. Yep. But she can't go beyond the bench. Yeah. She can go on and be the basketball court. All right, dug up by the Wolves. Swung in play. Wade keeps it alive. Grennan right side set to Keller. Ooh, Keller just missed hits and puts it in the net. So 6-4. And net, net. Oh, net. Net by the Wolves right there. <laughs> Coach Paulson not happy about that. She's saying the ball pushed it into her, but up ref says no, not at all. 15 got called, so that was Pierce, the setter, on the block. Grennan. 7-3 so lead here. Oh, she's in the net yep, again. Yep, keeps the ball alive. Grennan gets it to Hoskins. Hoskins to Tupa. Tupa swings away and dug up by the Wolves. To the outside. Roll shot. Wade's there ready. Grennan sets it to Tupa again. Tupa hard cut and a that kill. That she gets. 8-3. Storm and Pointer lead. And we're going to have a timeout by Marion. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. And while you're reading this, Brent, I'm going to keep an eye on Goad and see what they're uh, doing with their hand here. All right, our student. Profile is Braley Otto, a sophomore at CPU. She's involved in cheer, track, band, marching band, choir, show choir, and jazz choir. One, one thing she's really good at is cheer and right. sleeping. What is something not many people know about you? She is terrible at spelling. Matching her multiple choice, she prefers multiple choice questions. 
one rule she wishes everyone would follow, just be nice to each other. Her pet peeve is obnoxious people or people saying things or being loud for no reason. That is Bradley Otto, a sophomore at CPU. All right, and, and uh, on goad right there, it's her right index finger. It's an assistant coach or a trainer pulling on that finger to try to unjam it. Um, and did and they, they put taped some more tape on it? it? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, she did not have tape on those fingers. Now she does. So 8-3 CPU lead. Grenon Grenon serves serving. right at her. Overpass. No lift call there. Grennan with the dig. Hoskins sends it out to Tupa. Tupa swings, puts it over. Good dig by the Wolves. Tip from the Wolves. Good dig by Hoskins. Grennan back sets. Keller, Keller, great reach. Keeps it alive. Dug up by the Wolves. Roll shot blocked by the Storm and Pointers. Kept on the Wolves side. Another swing from the Wolves. Hoskins with the dig. Outside attack to Tupa. Tupa oh, just hits it out. Missed hit it. There were some great plays sure in that was. series. You know, the other person that is really really stepped up her defense is the libero hoskins yes yeah, she is all over the place so eight four cp lead hartman to serve for the wolves floater hoskins out right on cue with the great pass tupa gets set on the right side keller keeps it alive by the wolves back row attack dug by grennan hoskins a set to keller keller off hands dug up by the wolves middle attack tip Keller with the dig. Grennan gets ready. Sets Toop on the outside. Line shot. Dug up by Goad there. Swing over. Kept alive. Hoskins. Good pass to Grennan. Shots oh, with the power tip shot. to the left. For the kill. 9-4 CPU lead. Randbarger into serve for CPU. And Burkhart coming in the front row. 9-4 CPU lead. Rambar, good serve. Goad with the dig. Set to the middle. Good dig by Hoskins. Hoskins out to Burkhart. Burkhart rips it line. Dug by Goad. Back row attack to her. She rolls it. Hoskins there once again. To Grennan. Grennan back to Keller. Keller with the swing. Dug up by the Wolves. Goad back row attack again. Dug up by Grennan. Hoskins sets it out to Keller. Keller swings off heads. Go digs it again. Wolves out of system right here. Keller with the dig. Grennan sets the outside to Burkhart. Burkhart oh. just goes deep with she did it. the same thing yep. that Tupa just did. She did. Just mistimed her jump and kind of pushed from her shoulder. Sends it out on yeah. the sideline. 9-5. Storm and Pointer lead. In the lineup is Gustafson for the Wolves. The seniors Serving 87% on the season. And ball and straight out of bounds. Out. Wow. Yeah. That one was out of bounds. We've by had a couple feet. miss hits on yes. both sides here. Not you think I think some legs are starting to affect that, some that girls. Could be. There's been some great volleys, some great points. And yeah, Hoskins back to serve for the Storm and Pointers. Good serve. Dug up by the Wolves. Attack out of the middle and kill. Block was there, but just not high enough. And I believe that was Weber with the kill, wasn't it, Brent? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Weber number one out of the middle. And Paulson will be back to serve 10-6 Storm and Pointer lead here in set number four. Off the tape. Good dig by Tupa. Grenning keeps it alive. Keller, good swing from the back row. Wolves attack out of the middle. And Fultz not over the net and goes straight down. Weber another kill. Yeah, we're getting a hand on it now. We just need to uh, do a little, get a little penetration there. Yes. Yep. Get that push Paulson over the net. serving. Top spin. Dug up by Hoskins. Grennan keeps it alive. Good job by Foltz tipping into the donut. Wolves keep it alive. They tip it back. Hoskins there as always. Grennan back sets the Keller. Keller with the rip. Dug up by the Wolves. Hard kill by oh. Goad there. Goad looked good on that one. 10-8 CPU lead. Hoskins was there just off her hands. CPU would love to get a side out right here. Top spin. Good serve received by Tupa. Back set to Keller. Dug up by the Wolves. Goat on the outside. Tips it. Oh, Keller goes no. up and gets it, but it's blocked. Foltz went up to get a touch on that, just sent it yeah, too far that's over. That's one where you need to tell her, just keep it on our side and yes. let's see if we can get something. So 10-9. Yep. 
CPU lead here in set number four. Marion's up two to one in sets. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Our student profile is Jace Grennan. The sophomore is involved in volleyball, golf, FCA, student council, and the Lighthouse team. If, if she, an actor or actress who would want to play her in a movie, she is choosing The Rock. She wants The Rock to the be Rock. her, huh? Yeah. Sounds like a very Jace answer. If you could play one song over and over again and never get tired of it, what song would that be? The next thing you know. She wishes she had invented butter noodles. And if you had one superpower, what would that be? Have as much time as I need to complete something. And her favorite athlete is Simone Biles. That is Jace Grennan, the sophomore at CPU and member of the CPU volleyball team out there right now. So 10-9 CPU lead here in set four. Each team has one timeout left in the set. Paulson is back to serve. All right, Paulson been back there for a while. Gracie Hoskins, good serve received to Grennan, to Foltz, ran a 31, overpass. Burkhardt attacks it, dug up by the Wolves, sends it over. Foltz with the good dig right there. Grennan back sets to Keller, off hands, kept alive by the Wolves, sent over. Foltz another dig. Grennan sets her again, and she uh, rips a kill. Yeah. Great rip across her body there from Foltz. Good job on the timeout there. Storm and Pointers earning that one. Yeah, 11-9 CPU lead. Keller to serve for the Storm and Pointers. Good, Keller, good serve there. Serve received by the Wolves. To goad and goad off Maui's hands for the kill. And Pavelka coming in the front row for the Wolves. And back to serve is Han. Han serves from the left side, is a senior. Hoskins, good serve receive. To the middle, to Maui, Maui the kill. First time I've seen Maui hit a ball out of the middle, Brent. That was one of those plays, it looks like, where they have the second yes. setter, or hitter come yep. in over the middle hitter. Yep, it was a stack combo, a one was run by Fultz right there, and Maui came right behind with a two, and Marion does not want to see that again. Yeah, so 12-10, Storm and Pointer lead. Wade with the side spin serve. And uh, Goad comes right back. Bolt's got kill. a hand on it. She just did. did not. She's looking at her finger again there. Yep. So hopefully she's all right. Back to serve is Pierce. 12 11 CPU lead. Hoskins, good serve received. Keller, good jump set. Maui, that same uh, set, but a little behind her and hits it out of bounds. So ties it up at 12 here as Pierce goes back. Pierce has 12 aces on the season. Stays down, top spin, good pass by Wade to Keller, Keller to Tupa, dug up by Hoskins. Oh, and nice job there. He just sends it in deep. That was by Mahaffey. Mah yep. Just a good reaction by her to send it deep, hit zone six, and CPU was covering, so no one was and there. And Marion takes the first lead of this set, 13 to 12. Great pass by Hoskins. Keller back set to Foltz, and the kill back middle. And Schantz comes in the front row, back to serve will be Foltz. Back to a tie ball game again. Yeah, Foltz. Much improved server this year, serving 91% with 23 aces. Good serve by Folds, dug up by Goad. Outside set, roll shot, dug up by Tupa. Folds keeps it alive, sends over to Maui. Maui yeah. swings deep and out. So 14-13, Marion lead. Hoskins comes back in as the libero. Goad back to serve. Hoskins, good serve, receive right there. Keller out to Tupa. Tupa shoots it, but go get, digs it up. Back row attack, pushed over. Tupa returns the favor with the dig. Back to Maui, off hands and the kill. You can tell the tempo has definitely changed. Keller's setting Maui lower. And Maui's getting the ball. She's beating the block there right now, Brent. And Grennan comes in the back row. We are tied at 14.
Oh, wow. What Ace by Grennan. That's her second one of the night. And at an in -out, or at a great time for the Storm and Pointers to take that 15-14 lead. So Grennan will be serving again. Short serve, dug up well by the Wolves. And, and Paulson has yep. it in. Paulson hits the ball on the outside, hits deep middle of the court for the kill. Not sure if the block was late, but Coach Halleck's trying to talk to the girls why that happened. Keller just said it went off her arm. So into serve for Marion. We are tied at 15. Is the libero. Jump floater. Keller with a great pass. Grennan sends it back to Tupa on the right side. Good swing kept alive by the Wolves. Uh, and it hit off Shantz's Shantz was arm. There. Back row attack by, by Goad there, and Shantz just had to go off her arm and drop. So 16-15, Marion lead. Marion leads in sets, two to one. Hartman back to serve. Hoskins with the serve receive. Grennan sets Keller. Oh, wow. Keller wasn't ready. Keller tried to get there and get a knuckle on it, but she was just late. So 17-15, Marion lead. Wade, good serve receive. Keller sends it, or uh, Brennan sends it back to Tupa, who rips a shot, dug up by the Wolves. Back row attack by Goat and out. So Burkhart coming in the front row. Rand Barger will be back to serve. So 17 16, Marion lead. The senior Rand Barger does have four aces on the season. Good serve by Rambarger, dug up by the Wolves. Attack out of the middle, Rambarger with the dig. Keller keeps it alive, Burkhardt on the outside, roll shot. Marion back row attack again, and in the net. They're trying to go to go to every chance they get, Brent. Yeah, and sometimes those just are tough right there. Yes. They were out of sync. I think I just would have gone to my outside hitter and take a chance. So we are tied at 17 here in set four. Rand Barger serving for the Storm and Pointers. Good serve by Carmen there. Out of system in the ace for Rand Barger. And I believe uh, Pierce she, got kicked in the face yeah, there. Yeah, I think she setter. just got kicked. They and, tried to save it with their foot. And I'm not sure if her foot hit the top of her head and her head hit the ground. Yeah. Or it got underneath, but Pierce is wobbly. Yeah, 18-17 Storm and Pointer lead, and she's saying she's all right. And they're going to wipe up the floor. So we are in set four. CPU won the last set. They lost the first two. But ever since halfway through the second set, we have just had a battle of heavyweights here, yes, it kind of yeah. seemed like. It's, it's, I mean, it's fun um, volleyball to watch. It's fun play-by-play, -play, let me tell you. And uh, Marion now out of timeouts, Brian, at 18-17. And I think, she, uh, I think Coach Paulson really wanted to take the timeout right there to get her setter, Pierce. Yeah, of, yeah, Pierce is the glue. I mean, let's yes. face it. And she's, she's a good player. And uh, you don't want you want to give her a chance to get a drink and to rest a little bit. She's hurting right now on the yeah. sideline. Now I did see in the JV match a great use of the foot. Did you? By Havel. Yeah, and it was hit, hit, or hit. She hit it with her foot, and we got it. But the next person didn't get it over the net. Oh. But it was almost like she lifted it up as a set to the next person. Yeah, Braley's a pretty good athlete as a freshman. She's gonna be a yeah. big force for the storm. Randbarger serving. Top spin floater, dug up by the Wolves, attack out of the middle. Good dig by Grennan. Oh. Burkhardt punches it over, but out of bounds. Grennan Man. was super low right there. Great flexibility. Digs the ball up, way to the outside. Burkhardt tries to backhand it, can't get and it. And Tupa so. coming in. We are tied at 18. Into serve for the first time is Goldsward. Interesting. Serving 75% on the season. Hoskins, good serve received there. Shantz gets the ball. Oh, Brennan right sets back her in the at middle it. and blocked. Again, that tip, she just went straight on instead of to the left like she's earned a couple kills. Well, I think she was trying to go to the left, but she was facing too much out of gotcha. bounds. So when she went left, it was straight. So CP really needs to buckle down here. Down 19-18. Jump serve. Tupa, good serve receive. Grennan out to Burkhart. Burkhart roll shot to the donut. Dug up by Goad. Tip by the Wolves. Dug up by Grennan. Hoskins out to Keller. Keller with the swing. Dug up by the Wolves. 
Set outside, hit and out of bounds. Woo. So we are tied at 19, Hoskins going back and Fultz coming in the front row. Hoskins, the libero. Deep jump floater, nice serve by Hoskins. Marion really out of system, sends a free ball over. Tupu with the dig, Grennan shoots it. Ooh, good oh. offense there, Burkhart <laughs> with the pushover. Attack out of the middle and out of bounds. So CP was trying to run a 31 to Fultz. She mistimed it and Burkhart, Johnny on the spot, right there, keeps the ball in play. So 2019, CPU up. Hoskins, great serve right there. Good receive by the Wolves. Attack out of the middle, dug up off the tip by Grennan. Keller right side rip, off hands and the kill. CPU's got something going right now, Brent. Yeah, 21-19, no timeouts no for time Marion here. here. Yep. Took the words out of my mouth. So Hoskins serving. Good topspin serve, floater. Out of system, Wolves. Foltz has to take second ball. Burkhart reaches, keeps it in play. Dug up by the Wolves, dump. Hoskins says, I'm ready for you. Right side set to Keller, Keller the swing. Good dig by the Wolves. Attack out of the uh, middle, Foltz double jump. She, yeah. went, she jumped at the setter, landed, and tried to get back with Weber and just couldn't. So 21-20. Hoskins is everywhere, Brent. She is, she is covering everything. 21-20, CPU up, and Paulson back to serve. Top spin, Hoskins, good serve, receive. Grenning, great hands, and Foltz hits a deep, but off of Paulson's hands, and Storm and Pointers get the point. Whew. So 22-20, CPU up. And this is the rotation you like here. Keller back to serve, and Maui just came into the lineup. You just have such a good back row with Hoskins and Tupa and Keller. Oh. And in the net. So 22-21. And into serve is Han for Marion. Good serve received by Maui. Back set to Burkhart. Burkhart from the right side. Keeps the ball in play. Marion looks to attack from the middle. Uh, Hoskins oh. gets a touch. Almost got there. How Good hustle by Hoskins. Hoskins did get it up, but then Tupa couldn't get it after that. She pancaked. And timeout. CPU. And we're going to timeout by Coach Halleck. We are tied at 22 here in set four. Marion is up two to one in sets. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Student profile is Brody Barons, a 12th grader at CPU. He's involved in marching band, cross country, and soccer. Um, he owns cats, and they have no names. <laughs> When you live on a farm, you do that. That's true. Um, what is your favorite team in any sport, the Bears or Cubs? His favorite athlete is Justin Fields. His favorite quote, life is like a sandwich. Either way, you flip it, the bread comes first. How has CP prepared you for life after high school? It has helped prepare me for college. That is Brody Barons, a senior at CPU. All right, we are tied at 22. Marion will be serving. It'll be Han, and there are no timeouts left. All right, on CPU lefty. and serve receive. Maui with the good pass on the serve receive. To Foltz, Foltz off back row player's shoulder. Marion keeps it alive. Tupa with the dig. Sends it back to Maui, and the kill! 23-22, Wade will be coming in. It's funny, I'm looking around kind of on the Marion sideline, the CPU sideline, Brent. Everyone's just shaking their head like, man, that's, this is fun volleyball right now. And Libero back in for the Wolves. Wade to serve. Wade, good topspin floater, dug up. Set to the outside, tip. Keller's there. Hoskins sets Maui again. Maui with the touch and the kill. Whitey, can you catch it? <laughs> and, oh, we oh, almost got it. We said it's over if he it's catches over. it. over, yeah. We'll have to tell him that. Yes. All right, 24-22. CPU on a 2-0 run since that timeout. Good serve by Wade. Dug up by the Wolves. Go, Coach. pushes it. Hoskins, and Hoskins there, there as always. Keller to Tupa, Tupa off hands. 
Wolves dig it up, way out of system. Free ball coming over. Wade to Keller, oh. and Keller doubles. Ball hits her hand, just slipped out. A lot of sweat going on out there right now. So 24-23, CPU up. Pierce back to serve for the Wolves. Wade with the serve receive. Keller, good hands right there to Tupa. Tupa rolls oh, up and the kill. Point. CPU takes game four, 25-23. Brett, do we have more students in the student section right now than we did a little bit ago? Yes. Absolutely. I think, well, maybe some of them came back. They yeah. went home to ask their parents if they could stay later. <laughs> maybe they, got they don't, have, they don't have a cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are tied at two sets apiece as we get ready here for set Five. First set, Marion won 25 19. Marion won set two, 26 24. And then CPU took the last two, 25 22 and 25 23. And just lots of good volleyball. So, Brent, this reminds me, and I don't know if you watched the stream of it earlier in the year, but on the road, CPU traveled to Solon. Yes. Lost the not. first two. I, I, I watched it. CPU lost the first two in very similar fashion. Got down, wasn't playing very clean. Had a chance to win games, but didn't. Came back, won the next two, and then ended up losing 15, 13, 13. or 16, 14. 15, 13, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. at the very end, so CPU's been through this. They've lived it, They've and we always talk about as a coach, when things like that happen, when you go into games and you lose on the road or you lose at home a tight match, all you ask if you don't get the W is to learn from it. So we're going to see if the Storm and Pointers are able to learn from that and be able to make plays early because I think they got down five nothing in game five. And they came back and tied it, took the lead and went back and forth. And obviously Solon ended up winning. Well, the Storm and Pointers hoping it goes the other direction now. Yes, I think, you know, you take the first two games, we started off slow in yes. both of them. I think starting off even or fast um, will be the CPU's advantage here. And you know what, Brent, we're here for five. We might as well go home with a W. Yeah, mine's well. All right, Storm and Pointers have been on the court for the past minute and a half. Marion's still on the sideline. Looks like a catch, trying to catch their breath. Yeah, I. well, I think what they're doing is they're not going to play goad. I think that's what Coach has decided, that really? you don't want to risk more of an injury. Um, she must really be hurting on that finger. Yeah. And that's tough, and she's a competitor. She, and she is. She, I guarantee that was not her call to come out. Yeah. And I give her a lot of credit for battling through. I mean, they were setting her repeatedly on the back row and the outside still, and she's making great plays. All right, so we will start here in Oh, she's set out there, five. Oh, she is out there. She just wasn't sitting. She just was not sitting. All right. On the court for CPU, we have... Keller and Burkhart, Fultz, Maui, Keller, or Tupa, and Hoskins as Libero. And Libero coming in for Marion, and Marion will be serving to start out here. And that will be Paulson back to serve. Top spin, Maui with the serve receive. Keller out to Burkhardt. Burkhardt with the rip, blocked up by the Wolves. CPU digs it, keeps it alive, sends it over. Wolves attack out of the middle, tip by Weber. Good dig by Fultz, sends it back over. Outside to Goad. Tupa with the dig to Keller, out to Burkhardt. Burkhardt rips it line and dug up. Sets it outside to Goad, tips it again. Burkhardt's there. Keller back, sets to Maui. Maui oh, swings and goes down. out. Yeah, Paulson's one that has had some runs tonight. Yes. One we don't want to let get going on that. Absolutely. So Paulson back, marrying up one nothing. Maui serve receive to Keller. Maui sends it over with the free ball. Weber digs it, sets blocked by the CPU uh, front row. Dug up. Burkhardt with a swing, back row touch by the Wolves. Free ball coming over. Tupa with the dig. To Keller, Keller to Fultz. Fultz and finds the open zone in. one. It's a big point there for the Storm and Pointers. So 1-1. One, one. 
And Keller will go back to serve. And just like Marion had when Paulson's back serving runs, we've had some really nice runs on Keller serving yes, as well. Yes, we have. So we are tied at two apiece. We're only going to 15 in game five. Must win by two. Keller short serve, good serve. Burkhardt joust, loses it. CPU keeps it alive. Tupa back row swing, nice swing. Tip coming over, Hoskins there. Sends it back to Maui. Maui and with the in. two! 2-1 CPU lead. And Keller back to serve. Good jump floater by Keller off the tape, dug up. Outside to go. Burkhardt, good hands there. Great set by Keller to Maui. And Maui with in. the kill. 3 1 CPU lead. Keller again, jump floater deep. Good serve, high, tight pass. Go to the spacing's a little bit off. Burkhardt with the dig. Keller sends it out to Burkhardt. Burkhardt swings. And the kill! Hits the donut. And Time. we're going to have a timeout by Marion. 4 1 CPU lead in set five. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. Well, Brent, you talked about it, right? Starting off strong, yes. either back and forth or ahead. They had Paulson serving for them, who's a great server, and they've had a lot of runs. CPU earned a side out. Our best server just for runs for us has been Keller, and CPU's on a 4-0 run right now. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't beat it. And tonight it's kind of looked like that. The first two games, or first two sets, we just did not start off well. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we had senior night, and the seniors scored the first two points. Yes. And, then, and then we just went. I think they went on a 6-0 run after yeah. that. So CPU staying on their feet on the court, ready to go. A um, lot of energy right now. And, a lot of plays are just straight effort plays. They're not volleyball skill plays. Hoskins getting everywhere, getting every ball up. She's a high yeah, skill she's player. She's really reading where yes. it's going to go. She's covering everything. So Keller will be back to serve. CPU out 4-1. to one. Big, big point out of this timeout right here, Brent. You just want to keep it going. Yes. Keep it going. Keller jump floater. Good serve. Good pass by the Wolves. Set outside. Blocked oh, by the Storm and Pointers. In. Kept alive. Run out of the middle, Weber, Keller with the dig. Hoskins, great set to Burkhardt. Burkhardt roll shot, dug by Goat. Attack the middle, Weber, good dig by Keller. Hoskins sets it to Maui. Maui with the swing, dug up by the Wolves. Attack to Weber again, dug up by Keller. Hoskins sets Maui a little bit off. Maui tips it, dug up by the Wolves. Good tip by the outside. Oh. Hoskins tried to yeah, everything Hoskins was good. coming in thinking she was going to tip yep. it. And Good read there Goad, by Goad. Goad made a great tip to the back uh, back zone five corner. So All right, 4-2 CPU lead. And back to serve for Marion is Han. Han serving 91% on the season. Good receive by Hoskins. Sets out to Maui in the middle uh -oh. and blocked. Good block there yep. by Goad. 4-3 CPU lead. So Marion's got a couple in a row. CPU just needs to get a great serve receive here. Hoskins has been passing the ball outstanding. So is Tupa in the back row. And put a ball away. I can see a Keller tip coming here too. Good pass by Tupa. Back set to Burkhart. Burkhart tip. Oh, she and found in. the hole. She found the line. Ten foot line line shot. Just a little roll. Good, good play by Burkhart right there. So 5-3 CPU lead. Wade coming in. So we have Tupa, Fultz, and Maui in the front row. Good serve by Wade. Good serve receive. Big block, triple block. And I'm going right get there. It. Tupa, Fultz, and Maui all there for the triple block out of the middle. So 6-3 CPU lead. Wade back to serve. Topspin floatered, sloppy, but still in play. Outside swing, blocked by the Storm and Pointers. Oh, Fultz just it. sends it back over. Going to go in the middle, left hand tip. Keller, good dig. Hoskins sets it to Tupa. Tupa swings, Hoskins with the dig again. Out to Maui, Maui with the swing. And cool Maui time. gets the kill. 
Great play there. And Hoskins is all over the she court. She is. Every, and she's digging everything, and she's setting everything now. And Wade back to serve. The junior serving 96% on the season. Good serve there by Wade. Back row pass. Rolled by Goat. Good dig by Tupa. Keller to Hoskins, and she gets the she kill, gets too. It in. She can do it all right now, <laughs> friends. Is. Setting, hitting, serving, defense, 8-3, CPU lead, and we have a timeout by Marion. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. And you can just feel the energy from the Storm and Pointers right now. I mean, every ball, Marion has had some great shots. They've yeah. had some great tips, and you said Hoskins is everywhere, but you know what? Um, Keller's digging everything. Grennan's digging everything because they're attacking the right side. You want to go at the setter. Then Tupa's serve receiving outstanding. You know, we're doing a good job at the net getting touches, but our back row is unbelievable yeah. right now. It reminds me so much of the regional finals yes. last year when it was just dig after dig after dig. And you know what, Brent? There's a lot of those same girls in that yep. regional final. Yep, that is true. So 8-3 CPU lead. Wade will be back to serve. All right, score a point out of a timeout. And we're only going to 15 here. You have to win by two. Both teams won two sets. Marion won the first two tonight, and then CP followed with their two. And Wade ready to serve. She does have 17 aces on the season. Good serve from Wade. Marion sets outside to Goad. Big swing and a oh, kill. Goad got that down. Yeah, I'm not sure if she split the block or went around it, but that was a really nice swing. 8-4 CPU lead. All right, CPU would love to get a side out right here. Marion is out of timeouts. Get momentum back and on Hafey our side. And Hafey is into the lineup for the Wolves. Back to serve is Pierce, the setter. Top spin stays down, does jump. Great pass by Hoskins. Out to Tupa, Tupa tips. Dug up by the Wolves. Set middle, roll shot, Keller with the great dig. Hoskins with the set to Maui. Maui rips it. Touch, touch by the Wolves. Touch again and sent over. Oh, oh. block. Goad went to just two hand push it over and Maui was there ready. Blocked it but just went off her hands. So 8-5 CP lead, Pierce will be serving again. Two in a row now from the Wolves since the timeout. Hoskins, good pass. Keller gets there. The Tupa, Tupa hits the oh, donut oh, and the kill. Great hustle there by the libero for Marion and Tut even yeah. getting to that. Hartman gets a hand on it but just couldn't get it high enough and the ball goes under the net to the Storm and Pointers. So 9-5 CPU lead. Fultz back to serve. Good serve by Fultz. Overpass. Maui goes. Oh. Good decision by Maui to set it to Keller. Roll, Tupa rolls it over, out to Goad, and out. and out. You know, Maui wanted to go up there and slam that ball yeah. down, but it was behind her head, and that's a really heady play because it yeah. would have been a lift. It would have been. When plus just keep it on our side. Yes. We still have live. 10-5. Fultz serve it again. Has 23 aces on the season. Good serve by Fultz. Goad with the dig. Setting it back outside to her. Dug, dug by, Wade. by Wade. Good pass by... Wolves, another shot dug up by Keller. Wade sets Maui. Maui off speed, gives her the curveball. Ball comes back over. Sean sends it back over to the Wolves. Roll shot, dug up by Foltz. Outside shot to Tupa, dug up by the Wolves. Out of system right now, free ball given. Keller to Wade. Going to Tupa, Tupa tips it. Dug up by the Wolves, kept alive. Right side set, good dig by Foltz. Keller gets her hands on it to Maui. And, and out. out. You just felt something big coming yeah. there. 10-6 <laughs> CPU lead, and Marion will be back to serve. That'll be Goad. Hoskins comes in the back row for Fultz as the libero. Hoskins, great serve receive. Back to Maui again. Good sir, good dig by, the, um, by Marion there. Roll shot oh. and finds the back corner. Good job there. Doug Paulson. 10-7. This is where CPU really needs to take control. Yep. They got one. Don't let them have any more. Exactly. So Goad back to serve. Maui, good serve receive. 
to Shantz. Shantz rolls out of bounds. So 10-8, <laughs> and we're going to have a timeout by CPU. 10-8, Storm and Pointer lead here in set five. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck on the Stormcast, home of CPU Athletics. And Brent, you feel like every time it's right there, CPU kind of gets that little bit of lead. Marion crawls back in it there. Um, we've been going to Maui like crazy on the right side, and I know they got they blocked her the last one. I think you keep, you keep feeding her. I agree. I mean, every opportunity you get, the ball needs to be in Maui's hands, and Keller and Grennan do a great job of getting it to her um, because – her vertical, you talked about it. She's just so high. Oh, yeah. Like, she, and plus, you know, we know Goad is on that side, and she's having trouble with yes. her hand. And and we will see here. But 10-8, Storm and Pointer lead here in set five. All right, let's see uh, Coach Alex. Wise information she provided the girls here on that timeout. She still has one left. Marion is out. And Goad back to serve. Has 11 aces on the season. Out. And out. That's that's what you call a coach's point right there, Brent. <laughs> Good timeout. And I see uh, someone on the bench just said the same thing to Coach Alec right there. I think it was Paige Foltz told her nice timeout. Paige would have called one too, I'm sure. Absolutely. Grennan to serve. Future coach. Good serve by Grennan. Dug up by the Wolves. Right side oh. swing and off Tupa and Shantz's hands there. So 11-9. Storm and Pointer lead. And the libero, Hartman, will be going back to serve. Weber back into the lineup for the Wolves. And with Goad back row, you know, CPU really wants to be able to extend that lead a little bit or get it to 15 quickly. Good dig by Keller. Grenning, good touch to Hoskins. Oh, oh, oh. And that was probably the first ball Hoskins hit that hasn't been laden with gold. So. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. She's been pretty awesome tonight. So 11-10 CPU lead. Jump floater. Wade, good serve received. Grennan. Back to Tupa. Tupa reaches oh, the cross. Oh, nice. Addie Tupa was high right there, Brent. That set was really tight. She went up with one hand and shot that ball tight on the net. And I like how she does it close to the net. That You almost that's have so to hard. hit it backwards. Yes, that's so hard to play. So 12-10, Storm and Pointer lead here in set five. Gosh, Brent, I, I, this is fun. This is, this is fun to call. It's fun to watch. Rambarger with the serve. Good serve. Goad with the dig. Weber out of the middle. Good block by Shantz. Dug up. Free ball coming over to the Storm and Pointers. Hoskins, as always, is there. Back set to Keller. Line shot and out. just out. Just out. She almost had it there. Great idea by Keller. She goes line about two feet behind the 10-foot line and just out of bounds. And it was wide open over Oh, there. yes, absolutely. 12-11, Storm and Pointer lead. Hoskins with the serve received. Grennan out to Burkhart. Burkhart roll shot the middle. And, and the gets it. Finds that donut again. Burkhart likes to hit that spot. 13-11 and Hoskins to serve. And Paige Foltz is in and she is fired up. She came back into this game. And in for the and Wolves is Gustafson. And Goat is still back row here. Good serve by Hoskins there. Middle, big block. In, in. in. Big block by Paige Foltz on Weber, and it drops and hits the line. 14-11, Storm and Pointer lead. A set point right here and match, match point. point. Hoskins back to serve. Good serve by Hoskins. Dug up well by the Wolves. Big and block, Storm and Pointer's win. win. Two Cold. sets down, two sets to nothing, and they come back and win it. That's Walmack Volleyball, Brent. Yeah, if, if you want some exciting volleyball, next Tuesday they travel up to Manchester. You might oh, as well head up there. So, 3-2 win for CPU. Big shout out to everyone sending those messages. Happy birthday, Barb Moss. I was getting some messages there. Thank you for everyone listening. Parker, I'm sure you finished it out, so... Uh, Congratulations to Coach Halleck, her entire coaching staff tonight. Yeah, I think win. Parker told me he was out to eat tonight. I didn't recognize the restaurant name, but I'm sure I'll be hearing about it at some point. <laughs> I'm sure you will. All right, thanks, everybody, for joining us on the Stormcast tonight, home of CPU Athletics. Sponsors for the Stormcast are Centerpoint Foods, the Coppa Dryer Family, Ability Physical Therapy, Centerpoint Family Dentistry, the Dennis Miller Family, 
Elite Fitness and the CPU All Sports Booster Club. This is Brent Winterhoff and Mike Halleck, where tonight CPU beats the eighth ranked Marion Wolves three to two, coming back down from two to nothing. Stormcast will have the CPU West Delaware football game Friday night at 7.30. Thanks for joining us tonight, and go Storm and Pointers.